Yo, what's up? What is good? We're playing some Genshin Impact today. I uh, I wanted to check the 3.0 update that came out yesterday. So we'll shut up. So yeah, we'll see what Sumeru brings us. I'll just do my commercials real quick. Language exchange. So, Ella. Walk a little faster. Catherine, our rewards, and we can start the arc quest. Yep, 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 I know. OP Detro MC. Talaga. <laughs> yeah, well, sh kung si Lumin yung gamit ko, hindi. Eh, Pwede kong gamitin sana. But unfortunately, si Aether meron tayo, so... Pala na. Ooh, 
Bago. Zaitun Peach. And, uh, Harafu. Doon tayo. Kunin muna natin itong mga to. Uh, Shenba. Tapos dito tayo sa Sumero. Tsaka hindi naka-level up ang ano ko. Uh, traveler ko. So, unfortunately, hindi ko siya gagamitin. Saan tayo first? But, kung, kung magustuhan ko man yung gameplay, subukan ko siguro sa mother type. Then, maybe I'll consider leveling up the traveler. Oh, that's a new one. What's this? Sumeru Rose. New animals. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the harap bro. Oh, oh! Bitch. Wait. Nag-drop ng Matsutaka yun. Sims. No! It's flying! Oh my god. I hate it. That's a lot of health. How about you, Chop? Oh, yung Fungal, okay. How about you guys? Hostile ba kayo? Pag kinuha kay Apple niya. No? Okay. Ay, ako na lang kayo dyan. Wait, nasan to? Damn, that's beautiful. Sumeru ni tochaku shita kara ni wa mezasu wa Sumeru city da na. Nan to ka shite kuraksa nari debi ni au hoho wo sagasa nai to. Ah, so iye ba kuraksa nari debi ni tsuite amari yu yo na hanashi wa kike na katta kedo. I doubt she is. Kuraksa wo ubatta kami da to wa omoe nai nda yo na. Demo. Sumeru is a Jiyeno Kuni to be called by Jiyeno Kuni, and if you meet the Jiyeno Kuni, you'll be able to get the knowledge of the Jiyeno Kuni. Okay, sounds like a plan. Okay, so first, let's go to the city of Sumeru City. Look, the city of Sumeru City is the big island of the Sumeru City. If you didn't see the city of Sumeru City, you can see the city of Sumeru City. ちかくに村があるかどうかくらいはわかるんじゃないかはい。ちょっと待った。あそこ通行人がいるぞ。ひひ。道を探してまがはぶけたぜ。こんにちは。おいらたち外国から来た旅人なんだ。道を探したいん
on that. It's probably nothing to get worked up about. まあ、そけない態度だったけど、遠くからあいつについていけば人のいるところにたどり着けるよな。そしたらまた他の人に聞こうぜ。Through okay. mist of smoke and forest start. ほら、バレないようにこっそり追いかけようぜ。そこの小さな滝のところで姿が消えたぞ。早く行ってみようぜ。おい、この洞窟は村に繋がる入り口か何かなんじゃないかと思ったけど。違う。見ろ。あそこに座ったぞ。まさかここに住んでたりしないよな
気を失ったお前を見つけてここに連れてきた Thank you appreciate it いやいや私は何もしてないよところで具合は大丈夫かどこか痛いところとかないか、uh, No I seem to be fine except this taste in my mouth it's so bitter Sage! What the fuck? Can you? Can you not drop spoilers? Come on, man. Genshin content since yesterday, eh? Because it. Stole my experience first time day. Come on. Give me the basic dialogue. Oh. Kore. Hi, Nari. What's that? Yakso tori ni kita no? Itta daro. Fureru natte. Hey, Lawrence Genji. Yeah, Genji moon after today. Because, you know, so mero update. I'm pretty excited about it. But mostly, yung, ang gagawin ko lang naman is Arpon Quest. Then we'll continue tomorrow with uh, TOF. With the code giveaways. Alright. I think mas maganda ko mag-English voice overall. Kaya hindi. Really... <laughs> Yo, Lawrence, thank you for liking the stream, my guy. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you for liking the stream, my guy. I どう元気になったこれが私の師匠。レンジャー長のティナリさんだよ。ティナリ。ガンダルバー村にいる。ティナリ。そう、that's how パラハームって植物の横を使って心を安定させて瞑想状態に入るんだ。君たちは道を尋ねるために学者のハイパシアが隠居している洞窟に近づいた。スピリットボルネア。その時洞窟の中ではその横が焚かれていた。その横は大半
お香のせいで君は強烈な幻覚を見てしまったらしい精神状態も良いとは言えない。それでも深刻と思えないなら、これを嗅いでみてよ。Uh, that? 大丈夫か、oh. 倒れた時の感覚と似てるだろ。今はちゃんと意識があるかもしれないけど、ここで君を放っておいたら、また突然どこかで意識不明になるかもしれない。ここには多くの猛獣が潜んでるし、危険なエリアだってある。今回みたいな原因が続くとは限らない。しばらくは毎日時間通りに薬を飲んで、この匂いを嗅いで不快感を覚えなくなるまで、できるだけ単独行動しちゃダメだから、もうちょっと休んでおきなよ。薬草スープを作り直してあげる。スメールに着いたばっかりでお前がこんなことになっちゃうなんて早くクラクサナリデミに会いたいって気持ちはオイラにもわかるけど今のお前は確かにまずいぜおいオイラの話を聞いてるのかオイラ心配してるんだぞ I feel it's a little weird Uh, yeah, my body does feel a little weird, but what I mean is, I don't think what I saw were hallucinations. Visions. I saw the vision, it felt, it felt as if I was standing deep underground, but the red sky could have been. Conria! の体質は特殊だからなその判断を信じるででもだったらさっきなんでそのことをティナリに言わなかったんだ今あいつはお前の病状を勘違いしてるってことだけどお前の体がどんどん悪くなったりしてるえじゃあティナリはお前が見たやつが幻覚じゃないって分かってて。わざとオイラたちをごまかそうとしてたってことかなるほどだからさっきは黙ってたんだなだったらここで静かに休んで体を回復しながらでも直接ティナリに聞くのはダメっぽいよなもうお前なもうこれあらたまにもっこいさおみやるはいだ。そんこにんよ。そんと。せやでも。First ever Dendroculus. Why not? Uh, jump? Nope, nope. It's not it. Oh, it's not. It's not. What? But... Oh my god, the now sunny some movement. What a double jump! Let's see, right hand. Hmm. I bet you're gonna yes. Not bad. But please remember that you still need to be careful. Understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter. Well, you understand. 
Tank tells her what? The vision too. Am I useless to everyone now? Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. Ah, there you are. Feeling any better? A little bit. Is there something we can help with? Yeah, since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around here. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gundarvaville for the day. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Why? Tenari, we're ready to head out. Roger, I'll be right there. Roger. Right, we'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further details to Kale. Yes, you can count on me. Ah, but oh, two hours. But two hours, a bit long, yun. Hindi lang naman gagawin ko kain. But that doesn't really sound like the job for a ranger. But two hours, I'm sure. Well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. I mean, para sa lang sa gitna. Variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire prevention standards are met, and providing assistance to travelers and locals. As for master. Well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. All right. Paimon, traveler, this way. You can leave the task of checking the lamps to me. In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. Four. Go. Oh, nothing wrong with these two. Oh, this lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. Hmm, no problems with this lamp. Good. The statue of the Seven is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have seen it when you came down this road before. It's yep. pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there. I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. <laughs> yes, I'm a terrific climber. Oh, I guess I'll leave it up to you then. There's not much footing once you reach the statue, so be careful up there. Paimon will fly up with you and help you with those hard to reach areas. No, you won't. Um, by the way, Kale, do you know anything about the Dendro Archon? You know, what's she like? Uh, that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudevata or Lesser Ruka Lord Devata. Kusanali? Huh? Greater Lord Rukudevata? Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? Uh huh. Greater Lord Rukudevata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the okay, so she, uh, around okay. the desert. Her works provided a means of peaceful living for everyone. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few hundred years ago. Yep, it coincides with Andrea. According to what Master told me, the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasana. Sarasana. Uh -huh. Then what happened? Well, and then... Ah... Uh, ah... Uh, I'm not too sure what happened, to be honest. Huh? You're not too sure? But aren't you from Sumeru? Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Uh, but... but... Maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. If that's the case, then don't worry, we understand. No, no, it's not that. I'm not trying to hide something from you. Besides, I don't consider you two strangers. A anyway, y you two know Amber, right? Wait, Amber? You mean... The avid debater, outrider of the next of the books. Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a yep. while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. There's no one like Amber. 
She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. She's ready to answer the call for action at any moment, but is also very understanding Sim. of others. She's like the spark that lights the fire in everyone's heart around her. Call a sick pick for Amber. Me, she's a prime example of a true outrider. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. You can't help but be enthralled by her charm and enthusiasm, causing you to fall in love with the lands of Mondstadt and... Alright, calm down, Fowler. <laughs> calm down. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I haven't thought the work of Outriders is a little different from what you just described, but one thing's for sure. You really like Amber. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I was rambling on just now. It must have sounded kind of weird. <laughs> it's alright, Kale. Knowing that you're a friend of Amber somehow makes Paimon suddenly feel a lot closer to you. So, how do you know that we've met Amber? Well, after I returned to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler and their floating companion. I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. But, uh, considering everything you've been through that day, I thought it'd be inappropriate to bring it up. Okay. Ah, so that's how you knew! Yep, so please know that you two have my complete trust. Really. I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Sumeru for some time, and I haven't read any books. Alright, that's Sorry. understandable. That's alright. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Devata or the Sanctuary of Surathana until you mentioned them. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Why do you two want to know about the Dendro Archon? Hmm, so that's why you're here. Thank you for telling me your story. Don't mention it. We are friends after all, right? <laughs> all right, we have a statue to clean. I have a statue to clean. have my thanks. While you two are up there cleaning, I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Let's meet back here shortly. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Now that Paimon looks at it, the deity that's carved on the statue is kind of small. Hmm. Do you think she's supposed to be Greater Lord Ruka Devata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? Who is it, though? I think it's Ruka Devata, right? You might be right. The statue does look kind of old. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll have to figure that out later. Let's get started on cleaning the statue. Paimon will fly up and take care of the top, and you clean everything below. Nice work. That's one clean statue. Let's head down and meet up with Kale. Tired after all that climbing. Not Let's really. Take a little break. I brought some fruit and water for us. Yay! Food! What kind of goodies did you bring? <laughs> I want some strength. Hey, don't be a party pooper. It's not like Kale is a stranger or anything. Besides, the best way to compliment a chef is to show passion for their food. Xiangling taught Paimon that. I prepared a nice portable dish that forest rangers like to eat called Pita Pockets. I hope you'll like them. Pita Pockets. Uh, wh whoops! Ah, no! You dropped it on the ground! <laughs> Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. Oh, whew. I'm a nearly had a heart attack there. Pita. Those pitas are amazing! You're quite the cook, Kale. Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. Paimon wouldn't 
wouldn't have been able to sleep at night knowing something so tasty had been wasted. <laughs> you really know how to compliment the chef, Paimon. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll be making your own pita pockets in no time. Okay. Yay! Thanks, Kale! It's hard to believe someone as diligent as you could have clumsy moments, too. Oh! <laughs> uh, I guess it mm, happens from... That's kind of sus. <laughs> so, uh, Kale, don't you think that Tainari's a little too strict with you? He won't let you touch anything without his permission. Paimon knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but he's never said anything. Everyone has their clumsy moments. Yeah, because I can't speak. No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, <laughs> sure, he may seem a bit harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. Okay. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called... Uh, um... Um, uh, <laughs> uh, um, boo, something. <laughs> well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants, sages from the academia have written him many times, inviting him to take up an official position there. Oh. But Master declines their offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. I really like the pet. What the fuck? Why is this an option? <laughs> that does sound like something I never would say. <laughs> Seems you already know him well. Anyway, I'm sure the sages were not happy about his responses. Master could obviously have a bright future in the academia, but he insists on sticking to the path of a forest watcher. Every day he helps the locals of the forest and passes on his extensive knowledge to trainees like me. In fact, Master's the one who taught me how to make pita pockets. Really? Paima would have never guessed that. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. He even carried you all the way here. Paimon's still kind of upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire <laughs> way here. Yeah, what did you do? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little. But, uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling, Why, oh, why? Is he going to die? It probably started to get under Master's skin after a while. Typhonial wrath. What are you gonna do? No! Don't touch me! Uh, what's the matter? Sorry, Kale. Paimon didn't mean to scare you. Uh, no, I, I just... I, I didn't mean that. Kale, are you okay? What's the matter? Do you have trust issues? No, uh, I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I must have startled you both reacting like that. Oh, well, it's getting late now. Uh, let's hurry back to Gundarverville. I think Master and the others should be back by now, too. Dottore, what the fuck did you do to Kali? Huh? What was up with Kali just now? And why is she in such a hurry all of a sudden? Look, she's practically running back. Paimon can't even see her now. What's this? Fungus. Catalyze. Uh, catalyze when creatures are affected by electro and dendro. Quicken will occur, which will render them quicken. That's, uh... That's <laughs> that's a good explanation, game. Thank you. When quicken creatures are affected by electro or dendro attacks, the aggravate or spread reactions will occur respectively, causing them to take additional damage. Okay. For these sigils. I just want to get to the Arkham Quest. Look, three pyramid traps. Traveler, 
You've returned. Yep, we're back. Uh, have you seen Kale by any chance? Oh, Kale? Yes, I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. Wait until What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What was that? So how does this Maybe she's work? She's in a better mood now. Let's go check on her. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ah, it's you two. I was just about to go look for you. Huh? Tainari? What are you doing here? Where's Kale? I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. You mean she's sick? How could she be? Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? No, no need to worry. <laughs> something as small as you could never harm her. <laughs> uh, sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? Um, let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? To be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. So, just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because, well, because Kale asked me to. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. But she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. So Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Yes, it's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely There's immobile. a fucking seed. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. So is there any cure for Elazar? With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their members what? lied and said they had a cure. 
Why? The Fatui? Ah, it appears you are already familiar with them. Yep. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known no, as the Doctor. I have no idea how this doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Remarkable chest may primo ng laban. What the mark watches? So oh, you I know. Oh, by the way, Paimon, Is that the one na me? Kali wanted me to tell you that she's sorry uh, for scaring you yesterday. Furniture na laman. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. Hindi yun diba? Really? Primo ng laban. None of this is her fault at all. Well, sir. Wag ay marami na tayong reklamo dito sa atin. I to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Kali once thought yun. that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. Alright, so how's Polly Sunshine? Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though, I must admit that Kali's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gundarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long-distance patrols are a little too much for her now. <sighs> All right. Now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. Do something to help Kali too. All right, but I must warn you two: the rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering. Like I can handle myself. Thank you, you very much. Closely and listen to every instruction. No problem. No problem. Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as lunar lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Hey, look, Pala. That's an interesting. Hey, Where exactly are we going to find this plant? Lunar lotus can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gundarvaville. Hmm. Given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. You are correct. Lunar lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all. Oh my god, rather a vine. Mo and then there's the Sumeru rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. Oh, huh. Um, okay, <laughs> Are you done? Okay. Seems so it taking you see anything. That's so cool. That's on the elevation. Is that chest? No, no, it's a rock. There should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. So, go back. Fresh, yeah, Nilot Pala Lotus. Nilot Pala, Nilot Pala.
Let me take a look. Hmm. Good, very good. These are all excellent quality. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on some other things I need. Hey, Tainari! Oh, oh Tainari! Someone's calling your name! They're dressed like a forest ranger. Ah, yes, that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? What are they doing back so early? Let's go find out what's going on. Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? Man, you really need to restock some arrows. You have like three arrows. <laughs> we just discovered a withering zone. A oh, withering. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already cleared just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. So we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. So we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. Hmm, I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gondarvaville. Ah, uh, no. Wait, Kainari, why don't yeah. you let us help you? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these Man, shut up. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the withering. Okay. Then tell the me. Affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. Ah, yes, Amir is absolutely I think right. I'm good. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will yeah, be able to resist I think I should the be good. corrosive effects Don't worry. Time. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. Yeah, I can also control the elements. But you don't seem to carry a vision. I don't need those. That's primitive. Don't worry. He may not have a vision, but he's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Hmm. It seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, all right, you two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundarvaville. We'll make an exception today, and show you what it looks like up close. Right. Where is it? Stop. Don't move any further. Look there, in the distance. doesn't like the look of this that is the withering all right traveler we're going to have to enter that withering zone once inside we'll need to look for what we call tumors of the withering if we eliminate those then the area will be saved thank you but i must warn you don't push yourself this is your first time handling this sort of thing all right even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. I have fought gods and arcbots. If at any point it becomes okay. too much, return outside the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. I think I'm you good. ready then? Let's go. First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Uh, this one? 
with a charged or aim shot. That help? Or maybe this one. That did not help. was time. Great work. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. The what? Oh, hi. Destroy the tumors of the withering. I will destroy the tumors. Oh, click on one. All right, that's interesting. We did it! Everything's returning to normal now. You're right. Yes. Thank you for liking. To you too. I'm late. We were able to restore this area back to normal. That's fine. Um, um one hour. I think. It yeah. Sound like we did well. One hour into the story, pa lang naman. So. Obvious, huh? Intriguing na na nangyari. All right, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. Nalaman na natin yung backstory ni Cole. Withering zone. It won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. What eco fibers? Does this CJ's have two or something? And what other plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the water. What did we not do? And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Well, why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. By the way, have you heard of Ermin's soul before? Oh, wait, sorry, I bought myself a Discord. Ermensoul, yes! Ermensoul is a tree located deep beneath the surface. I have heard of that. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? Yeah. They're like the roots of Ermensoul. Yep. Spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Oh yeah, that's true. We can think about it. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Continually absorb the memories of this world, yep. which are then funneled into Ermin's soul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. Yep, we've the seen it manifest in Inazuma. Known as the God of Wisdom, because her consciousness is directly connected to it. Oh. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin's soul. Oh. And as for the withering. Its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. You mean German soul is sick? That's right. My ancestors are not Lord Ruka Divine. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermin's soul. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. Alright, that's enough on this topic for the time being. 
Now that we've taken care of things. I think that's not that awkward. I should probably. I'm not so this one right here. That's a task. Oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Huh. Wait, is that? Of course that. It's a pirate. Oh no, Hapasia. Oh wait, what? 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 Wait, what? Honey. Huh? What's wrong, Tainari? This Duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh. Huh? How can we forget? Let go with the puppet claw weapon. Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. Dikolo ko na dito po si Nemesis. Dito po si Nemesis. Yes, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gandarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? More school. Well, obviously, because this has happened before. Last time, she drew five lines. And by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, I'd prefer not to remember that. Needless to say, Hapasia's been a horse, and we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've five bars to get to, to talk about times like this. <laughs> Paimon, Traveler, could you two be in this time? Wait, you want to ask you to ask me? Along the lines, then, yeah, sure, whatever. Traveler, be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. <laughs> How do you feel? That's fine. Huh? Really? <laughs> You're not feeling even a little drowsy? But wait, how'd you know that he'd be okay this time, Tainari? Back when we were clearing the withering zone, I observed that he could adeptly manipulate the dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, yeah, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? What I saw weren't hallucinations. What I saw weren't hallucinations, were they? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tevat. Uh, Our forefathers were shown much favor by greater lord Ruka Devata. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Here we go. After the chosen one. With my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. So what exactly was it that I saw? When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly yep. with Ermin's soul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained okay. within Ermin's soul itself. Okay. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit Borneol are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermin's soul, just as you did. Uh, <laughs> fine, fine, all right, all right. You know what? Okay, let's finish it. Fine. <laughs> that was because we'll when we came into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. 
Please wait here for a moment. All right. Once na mag-drop ka ng isang spoiler, ititigil ko yung stream, ha? <laughs> CJ, nag-drop na ng spoiler, eh. Nakakainis, eh. Hello, parrot. You look cute. Oh. Okay. Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. Okay. No. I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. <laughs> All right, fine. Hypatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. What if I am lined up? I want... So I'm with my white team. Wait, honey. Oh. What is the situation? What is the situation? Dull blade. Swipe <laughs> No, that's not that's not a good joke. No, I mean the same to me. So I don't want to make Archons. 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 So si Shogat na lang, tsaka si Anna. Si Venti. It's the last one. Stop a focus. I stay. Oh my goodness, straight this. Yeah, tell about about banner ni an na. Sa ano pa siguro? 3.2 or maybe 3.3. Pero 3.2 pinaka bet ko. The double jump ako. <laughs> No, I will not go and collect those. Gusto ko lang yung... Blizzard! So, focus lang tayo sa story para hindi tayo matagalan. Hapatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Oh, she's not here. Hello. Hey, there's nobody here. Maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. Ay, yung parang ano? Yung parang sa Inazuma. Oh. Pag convenient yung gamitin ko. There's something. There's oh, is that her? What was that? It's Goba. It's Goba's third cousin. Oh, 
water. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Huh? Wait. Why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? Uh, anyway, let's go look around. Okay. Silent seeker of knowledge. Huh? Hot things out here end up looking like this. What happened? Where are we? What the fuck is this? Really? Oh, maybe you're right. Ah, uh, okay, there. Uh, Nani? Nani, the fuck? Where are we? Door of Resurrection. Wait, this is a domain. Domain Door of Resurrection. Domain. Do oh yes, <gasps> treasure chest. No. Paimon, stop talking. I want to get the treasure chest. Oh my god. Electro attack. Is that? Oh, electro attack. Is that? Treasure chest. Two primo chests. What's this? Uh, bounty mushrooms and domains. You will sometimes find bounty mushrooms of the sort in some areas domains. The reason for which these mushrooms are not one of the Trilakshana creatures are unknown but must be quite fascinating. So do I, do I jump on it? Oh. Uh. Okay. Huh? What happened just now? Why did everything around us suddenly change? Para din na zoom doon pa. Primeval, primeval Rosen in Domains. You will sometimes find Primeval Rosen in sealed paths that correspond to them within Domains. Sumeru, collect three Primeval Rosens within these Domains or block the correspond. Take off. Not me. Yo, heal it, Charles! Illusion shattered. Think you can get away? I'm a beat your ass. Speed of light. Nowhere to hide. Bitch. Excuse the chest. What's this?
What's this? Ow! Open sesame. Ah, I'm not going to do it. We're back in the zoom. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> this place is getting weirder by the minute. Hey, what's the matter? You don't look so good. This one, right? Can I hold the big hand or investigate the courtyard to part down the corridor? Is this work? Hey, I want to vent back. Mahirap lang i-trigger. Wait, what? What? Why? <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like we meet again, traveler. Uh, who are you? It's time. 
time you realize how weak and powerless you really are. My journey will not end here. Your sister. <laughs> oh, pitiful traveler. Are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? Her Highness has long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in her eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. Shut up, man. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! Okay. Was it all an illusion? Yes, it is. That's a that big ass place. apples. <laughs> uh, Are we there? really going to do this trope Tainara, over and over again? Uh, do I look like Tainara? Huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hapatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. It's fine. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought natural all this fruit. Natural, natural hair bother, don't you? Well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Neighbor? Must have come by and saw me like this. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Oh yeah, is it, is it a little round creature? Uh, <laughs> so you're able to see them too? Wait, hold on a second, traveler. You say that before we arrive, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to be able to scurry away. <laughs> so, Hypatia, just what kind of creature is Kung totoo man. Spoilers! No spoilers. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dungeon Icon. I know this because the first time I saw that, it was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding. 
But I never would have expected them to save me. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. How about you eat first? <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... It's not my fault. <sighs> Anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. All right, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hypatia. They are specialties after all. Mmm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> okay. Wait, meron na ako dun, ah. Okay lang ako pang gumawa. Okay, at least automatic na. Let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already watched it. Oh, it smells amazing. And the box. Alright. <laughs> Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Uh, cooking really isn't my forte. Yeah, I can tell. Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermansoul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. Ermansoul. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the academia even lauded me as a genius. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermansoul as you have. What did I say? So why does this I'm special. allow people to connect to Ermansoul? The ingredients used to make spirit born eel primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Okay. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermansoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the earth. Alright, I think I understand. Naturally. Anyone who can establish a connection with Ermansoul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Hmm, makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was he sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to his body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, he could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload, hence the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of spirit born ale would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. 
Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon. Technically. But unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of Spirit Borneo should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew. Well, that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Irma Soul at will. Whoa! You're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. That's As a true. member of the Ritaoist Darshan at the Academia, what? Ritaoist my main Darshan. area of research is There's the stars and their connection to the of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful, or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Satyavada. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. That's okay. why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Whoa! So knowledge from Ermansoul can be super dangerous! Aren't you afraid of the risks, Hathaja? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight. World forgets. However, I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Huh. Is that true? Yes. Well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality. But that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Oh, reminds me of the dream I saw from the Aranara. It was a big chaotic mess. Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions oh. could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be. But I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> yeah, uh, dreaming just is amazing. Not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things he saw when he connected with Ermansoul? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermin Soul itself. Who's hmm. memory? World forgetting. What could that possibly mean? Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life, I might have some more answers for you. World uh, forget. If you two are ever in the area again. Please be sure to come and see me. There's no need to be thanking me. 
That's you an two are my line. saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> Her page is all right, and had the chance to ask her some questions. Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gundarvaville. Yeah, hindi na sa isip ko. It's either nga si Kusanali or si Ruka Devata. My guess is Ruka Devata, because, kasi nga di ba sinabi dito na di pa rin nakalimutan. Tao. Especially yung mga sages, like the old, the old ones. Na hindi pa nila kinakalimutan si Rupa Devata. Or, yun yan, hindi nila ina-acknowledge si Kusanali as the, like, the legit Archon of Sumeru. Kasi nga, may special place pa si Rupa Devata para sa kanila. So, feeling ko, galing kay Rupa Devata yun, na gusto nang, parang gusto niya nang mag-move on. Sumeru or something, ah. Let this be a lesson to those who yesterday said I'll do it tomorrow. We'll see. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join the Tainari is very near the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to take care of the effects of withering zones. But isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kaje clearly stated, your presence and guidance in the city is pivotal in finding a cure for How could you possibly refuse? Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, not to cause a scene. Wait, these are the sieges. Siege Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person. But I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Haravatat have any need of someone like me? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now, parang I'm ganun, here yeah. in his stead. Or kasi nga parang I hindi... Huh. Umbaga, hindi gusto niyang mag-bumpod na yung mga sages, yung people of Sumeru. Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort. And now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? <laughs> you will know once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. And how long will I be required to stay? Uh, there's no definite answer as of now. Do you mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Kandarvaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? Chill. Tainari. If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. Hello, old people. Oh! That's kind of sus. Yeah, hindi lang siya yung hindi lang yung simple gusto ng gusto na ni Rupa Devata na kalimutan siya para iyakdans si gusto na but more on kalimutan na yung old ways para mo forward na sumero. It was quite the eventful trip, but the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us too. Very good. Kasi knowledge is about like progressing and moving forward. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, Ang ganda parang mayroon conflict kasi talaga sila between Kusanali and Rokha Devata. Do you have any idea on how we can find her? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm, let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and most of my acquaintances are researchers. How about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. 
I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for is it you, the Bluetooth? maybe you can give it a try. Is it the Bluetooth headphones? Oh, what is it? It's called an Akasha terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Some say that this very item is the basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise. So I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Great! Next stop, Sumeru City! Uh, oh, but wait. Yeah, I need to that, say goodbye to Kali. That's right! Kainari, we have something important to say to Kali before we leave. Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. I'm curious if they take the path to the So she must have wanted to see what happened to her. Alright, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And good luck to you both. And good luck to you both. Because there are some disturbing things that happened to her. Regarding that... Uh, experiments na ginawa ni Totoro sa kanya. What is that? Looks so cool though. Look at that. Ito yun yung nasa desert area, no? Feeling ko. Ito yun yung nasa desert area. Alright. No rain? Alright, no rain. waiting for you two. I, uh... Well, uh... <sighs> Never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. And, uh... Well, uh, I'm sorry. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. I just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend. Not some girl that needs your sympathy. But I guess now I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. That's no worry, Kali. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. Oh? What is it? It's my recipe for pita pockets. I told you that I'd give you a copy, remember? My handwriting is a little, uh, messy, so please don't laugh. Yay! Thanks, Kale! Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like! I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gandarvaville. Well then, I, Trainee Forest Ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. Please visit Gandarvaville again! Where to next? Chili Charles! Wait, what is that? What is that? That's not. No, it's. What the fuck is that? Speed of light. Uh, Nani. Oh, I can be. So not in the waypoint. Oh. Looks cool. Okay, so it's 
this somehow to see Is that Celestia? Celestia boy. Oh my god. We are. Okay. I'm going to Ted earphones. Sumeru City! <sighs> we finally made it! Oh, did you see that? When those people entered the city, something on their heads lit up. One moment, please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. There's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. Yep. But no need to worry, that won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, the Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. It's our beloved Greater Lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy, a treasure trove of collected knowledge. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha Terminal. As long as you are so basically it's the borders, internet. You may use an Akasha Terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. Yeah, it's basically the I internet. I should mention that due to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha Terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities such as Sumeru City Port and Port Hormos. Tainari was telling us about. It sounds pretty amazing. You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. Here are your Akasha terminals. Please handle them with care. <laughs> It kind of looks like a leaf. To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. Mighty God May bless the mighty us, God with, their bless us with their voice of wisdom. Oh, since this little doodad lets you access knowledge, maybe we can use it to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Oops, sorry. May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. <gasps> Just now, something clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. It seems all we need to do is concentrate on what we want to know, and bam! You get it. Oh, that'll come in real handy. Exactly. That is the power of the Akasha. And with that, let me officially welcome you both to Sumeru City. May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide. Okay, now that we're in, we can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let Paimon try. Hmm. <gasps> 500 years ago, the sages found a newly born deity from within some scorched ruins. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. Hmm. Seems pretty similar to what Kali was telling us. Okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. Hmm. Uh, huh? Uh, Hyman doesn't sense anything. Um, hmm. The Akasha didn't respond to Paimon's question. Oh, come on! Ugh. Focusing on this question feels like when you have something you're trying to remember and it's on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't. Paimon's brain is exhausted. I'll just try asking the Akasha something else. Oh, smart idea. But what are you going to ask it? Uh, 
think lesser lord to some other. There wasn't really anything that I read. Greater Lord of the Devata. Okay. Intimacy, nostalgia. Wait, wait, no! No! I can't pass it. Bust size Nilo. <laughs> I think it's like C. Or D. Why does the Akasha answer my question? A vague thought suddenly comes to mind, the Akasha does not unconditionally respond to every query. Also, even if the same query is requested by multiple people, the Akasha still imports knowledge based on each person's identity, age, experiences, and other demographics. Huh. Could it be because we're outlanders and we've only just arrived in Sumeru? You know, maybe we're not qualified to receive an answer to this sort of question or something. Uh, well, seems no matter which way we try, we can't find anything that'll lead us to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hmm. Guess our only choice now is to try meeting with the researcher that Tainari recommended. He's from Sumeru and even has a position in the academia. Maybe he'll be able to access more info from the Akasha. Okay. Let's see. Voice Tainari of Akasha. Tainari wrote an address on the letter's envelope. Oh, Watch out for it's not far from the city's gate. Let's head over and have a look. Oh. Hopefully he's at home. Once I'll just take these apples and sunsetas. Now we explore now some sunsets and city. Place of radishes. Oh, it's pretty nice. Oh, waypoint. Let's get this waypoint. What is this? I go in. Jafar! Jafar! <laughs> what are you doing here, huh? What's up? What's up here? Huh. I sit down. I sit down. Okay. Alright, that's enough. That's me. Can I help you? Great! You see, Tainari sent us here and... What? Tainari? Uh, please, th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work, and maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but... Uh, we're not here to discuss academia. Here, this is a letter from Tainari! Oh, let me see... Ooh, what a relief. You two nearly scared the life out of me. Seems even Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for procuring information. So, what is it you two would like to know? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Ah, this isn't exactly my area of expertise, but let me see what I can find in the Akasha. Hmm. Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. Yeah, we tried that. What? You too? But what about your abilities for getting information and all that? Uh, I'm always sure you'd be able to ask sure. more info than we did. Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. 
I am but a lowly researcher, so the Akasha doesn't see a need for me to know more about the Dendro Archon. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Sorostana or made a public appearance. Huh. Didn't expect her to be such a mysterious figure. The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain visitors, which would explain the lack of information in the Akasha. Aw, but then what can we do? <laughs> no need to worry just yet. I'm only hypothesizing here. You could certainly try asking around and see if anyone else has ideas. And besides, you two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali may not be a bad thing. No, oh, I, I need to see her. In this world, there will always be information you cannot obtain from the Akasha, and things you can never accomplish. Knowing when to yield is a form of wisdom. <sighs> it's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every Especially three Especially if you're a major character. But Tainari? That guy can publish three papers in just a single year. Hello, <laughs> Bibi. It's not sure. It depends on where you are. Okay. Like the impact. Thanks. Kung gaano ka major yung character, tsaka kung gaano karami screen time. Don't mention it. If you two ever want information about things like who's been promoted within the academia or relations between the six great sages, come find me. Hey, come on. This is a survival skill at the academia. Aww. Si Paimon yung BA siguro na yung Paimon na yung pinakamalang bayan dito. This is so low, it's like digging holes in the dirt. So what do we do now? Even if we want to talk to someone, we don't know anybody here! Huh? Like who? Add Astra Abyssos! Oh, right. <laughs> oh my god, Catherine! The Adventurers Guild has its own intel network! Let's hurry and find her! I don't think I'm going to add Astra Abyssos to Catherine. Oh, hey! Add Astra Abyssos. Add Astra Abyssos. <laughs> Hello, Traveler and Paimon. Catherine, <laughs> we need your help with something. Well, I mean, most of the time, naman, si Zach nasa, nasa mga trailer versions or trailer live streams. Too. Version live streams, rado. We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know? Pero siyempre dahil pinovoice niya yung main character. Same with Lumi. You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. Wait, they don't have any incense. But I am unable to call up any relevant information in the Akasha. I'm also unable to locate any pertinent information in my personal memory. Us, then we really don't know anyone else to ask now. Please do not worry. I may know of someone who can help you two. Oh. In Sumeru, the Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. <laughs> there are no Wait, make it about this day, yeah. Mercenary groups collectively oh. known as the oh Elamites. They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru, so they naturally accrue intelligence. An Eremite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Not only are they the oldest brigade, but they are responsible for managing and coordinating the affairs of all other mercenary brigades. Corps of Thirty? What a weird name. Let me guess. Thirty people said that. Supposedly, they are named as such because their ranks numbered thirty at their inception. Oh. Asfond. An advisor with the Corps of Thirty maintains good relations with the Adventurers Guild. Though he's already retired, he and his words carry great weight within mercenary circles. If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the Corps of Thirty's headquarters, the Citadel of Regzar. Regzar. You're welcome. I wish you two the best of luck. We look forward to your exploits in Sumeru. Exploits? That's a weird term. Alright, uh, bathroom break real quick. I'll be back in like one minute.
Come on, enough procrastinating. Let's go. Wow, and I'm snacks. I have here a whole fucking jar of M&Ms. <laughs> I don't know if they work like balance, but I think this is pushing it. I imagine if we go to my life. Then we go. Alright, let us continue. Go to the citadel of Bregzar and look for a spawn. Welcome. The Adventurer's Guild told me to expect you to. It's nice to meet you, Asfan. We'd like to ask you about something. I see. So, Catherine's the one who sent you this way. Ha. <laughs> It's true that the Aramites network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Wait, seriously? That's it. That's it? <laughs> Great, so the Aramites aren't terribly religious, so we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. Huh. We originally came from the desert. The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in lesser lord Kusanali. Oh? Why is that? Just take the academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Although they believe in gods, most of them only care for the late, greater Lord Rugadavada. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with greater Lord Rugadavada and hold her in greater esteem. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. And that's all. Really? Aww. After hearing all of that, Hyman sort of feels bad for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Ha! <laughs> but who knows? We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. Besides, I'm sure the God of Wisdom 
doesn't worry about her reputation among people like us. All right. Well, thanks for the info, Osborne. <laughs> no problem. Always happy to help out the Adventurers Guild. was right about most people's attitudes here. Not only are they not interested in the Dendro Archon, they even say stuff like, if the Akasha doesn't think I should know, then I don't need to know about it. Yun. Yun yung point na parang gusto iparating ni Bruja de Vata. Lahat ng tao is nakadepende sa Akasha. So kapag walang information sa Akasha, hindi na sila nagbabother alamin. Hello, who are you? From the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. You've been asking around for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dunyarzad. One of Lesser Lord Kusanali's faithful followers. Whoa, really? Then do you know how we can meet with her? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. What sort? Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. It predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. <laughs> Panicked by what he heard. The man sought out the Dendro Archon in the hopes that she would bless him with the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. Uh... The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations of every kind. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. In despair, he thought, alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. Okay. And then what happened? And then the calamity came. But to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. By relying on his own strength, he managed to overcome the adversity. At that moment, a bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird was, in fact, an avatar of the Dendro Archon. She said, Wait. Oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom have long been found by you. Along your journey, we were in every flower and blade of grass, every ray of sparkling sun, and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. Yeah, thanks for the story! Paimon feels all warm and fuzzy inside after that. <laughs> uh, in a way, it seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusanali, can you tell us anything else about her? Of course. Uh, so, did you two know that, uh... The... Uh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. Uh, Nani, why? Someone. Hmm. Dunyarzad was acting super nervous just now. You think they're looking for her? Ugh. This stinks! We finally managed to find a lead about Lesser Lord Kusanali! We can't let them get in the way now! <sighs> Let's see if we can get rid of them. Then we can catch up with Dunyarzad! Hey, have you two seen a brown haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? We're looking for her. Uh, nope. Did she have bandages wrapped around her wrist? Oh, come on, my mom. Yes, that's her. Did you see which direction she went? Uh, yeah, she went that way. Quick, after her. Huh, good thinking. <laughs> that should keep him busy for a while. Let's hurry and find Junior's on. Uh, 
Oh, there she is. There you are, Dinyarzad. We thought you might have been long gone by now. Oh, it's you two. Oh, you startled me there. You can relax now. We threw those people looking for you off the trail. Uh, really? Oh, thank you so much. Unfortunately, I believe there's still more of them out there looking for me. Why, though? Uh-oh. Looks like there are some coming this way. Huh? More of them? Then what are we standing here for? Run! No, wait, I... Uh, my body isn't in the best shape. Uh, it's difficult for me to run. Okay, sounds good. There's a tavern on the other side of the port we can go to. They probably wouldn't expect me to hide in a place like that. All right, let's move out. Stay behind us. We'll keep an eye out for anyone looking for you. This is another one of those. I love it, but I'm still Shouldn't be able to find us now. Wait, oh. stand down, Dia. Mommy? <laughs> yeah. My lady, who are these two? Oh, uh, hello. They're travelers that I met on the street just a moment ago. They happened to notice that you were all searching for me, so they helped me hide. I see. In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. Uh... Wait a sec! Who the heck are you? And why are you shooing us away? I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard. Here to see that she returns home safe and sound. I like her arm still. <sighs> My lady, let's get going. You've been gone for so long that your parents are worrying themselves sick. And if I refuse to go with you? It'd be easier for the both of us if you cooperated. But if you insist on not going, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. Hey! Dunyar Zod already said she doesn't want to go back! Why Hi, are you pushing her? Stay out of this. You don't understand the situation. Sorry, my lady. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are my employers. I have to answer to them. How much? Wait, what? <laughs> How much? How much more do I have to pay you to become your employer? So you never listen to my parents ever again. Double? A triple? Give me some time and I'll get that much. My lady, this isn't about Mora. I don't know what you think of us Aramites, but let me say this. I like Mora, but I'll never go against my principles. Yeah, who doesn't like Mora? That's why I'm here looking for you. Sure, it's an order from my employer, but my conscience was also telling me it's the right thing to do. <laughs> and knowing your health, carelessly running around like this is gonna hurt you. For the sake of those who love you, don't be stubborn. No, you're wrong. I'm aware of my limits, and I know what I'm doing. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. And they know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at home or not. They still won't accept reality. Is she sick? Does she have the disease? I feel like she has the disease. And every time I bring this up, they just change the subject. Dia, no, you've LSR. been living with us a long time already. This should be old news to you. <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father, and I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to. Because she saved me. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. This is my life and my last chance. So I want to do something meaningful. My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? I like her eyes though. It's like cat, uh, cat eyes. Yes, I'm sure. At least, it is to me. <sighs> Fine. I won't ask you to return home anymore. But let me make something very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination. 
Not because I agree with you. Thank you, Dia. Sorry for being so rude just now. My nerves were acting up. And I... Uh, don't worry about it, my lady. I did say that I like Mora. Besides, that's our next topic of conversation. Today's little excursion caused such a ruckus that every single bodyguard at the estate was deployed. It wouldn't be easy to hide things from your old man. Since this definitely won't be your last escapade, here's a little tip. You should at least make it look like your room and things are still in order when you leave. Also, you'll need someone to cover you for when you're out and about. So, I'll let you hire me, my lady. This way, everyone wins. As for the pay, let's say mm, half of what your father pays me. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. Okay, deal. Yay! Looks like they've reached an understanding. <laughs> We're just here standing. Oh. I'm fine, really. I, I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down. <sighs> My lady, stop trying to look tough. We're already in a tavern, so let's rest up and grab some grub. I'm sorry for worrying you two. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to join us. Sure! After you rest up, we want to hear more about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Okay. Uh, where? Upstairs? Ha! Well, if it isn't Dia, haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. <laughs> Don't you find that kind of work boring? Nah, you get used to it. How about a menu over here? You got it, huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayani herself? <laughs> we don't get to serve personages like you very often. We'll be sure to prepare our very best. Thank you, sir, but there's no need. I don't have a lot of Mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. Uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. Yeah, no need to break the bank. Yeah, we're already super grateful for everything you told us about Lesser Lord Kusanali. How about our coconut charcoal cakes? They that sounds are good. signature snack, and they run cheap. Look. Other customers over there are eating some now. Uh, they look kind of burnt and dry. Uh, Paimon will pass. Picky Paimon, but you cook slimes before. Hmm. What do you have against my slime dishes? Dunyarzad, we asked a lot of people when we first arrived, and almost nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. So, what made you want to follow her? Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually seen her before. Really? Huh? Really? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends, and my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even then, the Akasha didn't have any helpful information. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad. Don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Ooh. Junior Zod, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. <laughs> Who are you? How do you know my name? Um, how do I explain this? You might not be able to understand, but actually, I know everything about you. Really? Oh, she looks so cute. Of course. I know that you're scared of thunder. That you hate taking medicine every morning. And that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt. Wow, you really do know everything. Junior Zod, is there anything you want? 
What? Not really. I, I can't go anywhere or do anything. Huh? But aren't you a child? All children have wishes. Tell me what you want, and maybe I can make it happen. But uh, can you make my illness go away? Oh. I'm sorry. But uh, I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. Then, can you be my friend? After that, the voice said, Okay, I'll be your friend. Although my body was suffering during those days, that voice encouraged me and told me many wondrous things. Beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Beyond the city was a lush rainforest. And beyond that was the wall of Samiel. Deserts and all of Tibet. Once I finally made it through that bout of illness, I couldn't hear that voice anymore. I told my mother about it, but she said that I must have been dreaming. But I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. Before that, I had never heard of Tevat. Yes, for sure. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the outside world. Nor would I have learned how to read and enjoy so many books. That voice sparked a desire for wisdom. It had to have been the Dendro Archon. I've been hoping for a chance to repay her kindness. In fact, I was running around today to help prepare the sub festival, festival for her. What's the sub festival? <laughs> it's yeah, festival it's a festival for birthday, which was the day that she was found by the sages. It's actually an old ah, holiday that story. originally celebrated Greater Asana Rome about his part? birthday. When she passed away, the holiday of the celebration of the lesser lord's birthday. I heard everyone was overjoyed when they welcomed her back to Sumeru. In those days, the festival was a huge deal. But because of the academia's influence, people have gradually lost interest in the festival. The academia actively participates in Sumeru's many holidays dedicated to Greater Lord Rukadabata. But when it comes to the Subzeros festival, uh, forget any fun day. They uh, practically act like it doesn't exist. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanali's birth as uh, confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadabata's death. So they're reluctant to celebrate it. Aww, but that's awful! <laughs> it is. It's absolutely terrible. Sure, the Greater Lord founded Sumeru, but hasn't Lesser Lord Kusanali been the one quietly protecting us for the past few hundred years? <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. Don't get too carried away now. I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the sub Festival to this day. But I hadn't met any of them before, so I was never able to contribute. But recently, I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a wonderful festival this year. That's the least I could do for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hold on, my lady. Does this friend happen oh! to be Nilu? Nilu! The one who sends flowers to the estate? Yes, that's her. Mm, I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her face. It seemed like she was hiding something in her arms. Did you give her something? Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't have much more prepared. So I had Nilu sell one of my skirts. I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today and see how things are coming along. Dia, would you accompany me? Sure. That's quite the trip, though. I'll carry you. Uh, uh, can you carry me as well? No, that would be too much. <laughs> even for you. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us. And if anything happens to you, then I'd really never hear the end of it from your father. But of course. And Nilu will be thrilled to hear we'll that Nilu. interested in lesser Oh my god. Nelly. I'm excited. Alright, let's go. 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 Have you seen the... Have you seen how she looks? Alright. I would pay her to step on. 
I would give... How many more do I have? I would give all 12 million of my Mora. <laughs> Just for... Oh, let me grab some of these cabbages. Thank you very much. Where's Nilo? Give me Nilo right now. <gasps> Sorry I'm late, Milu. Oh, doing your Zod. It was taking you so long that I assumed you got trapped at home, but you made it in the end. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. Uh-oh. But if Dia's here, that means you got caught, right? You could say that, uh, but everything worked out. She's on our side now. <laughs> uh, not completely. Oh. And who are these two? I'm uh, I'm a special traveler, if you might ask. <laughs> oh, meet the traveler and Paimon, my two newest friends. They're visitors who just arrived at Sumera City and are looking for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. So you're followers from another land? Uh, truthfully, no. But I'll say yes. That's wonderful. You two absolutely mustn't miss the Subzeris Festival. By the way, Dunyarzad, we've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. It looks spectacular, thanks to your generous contribution. You're very welcome. It's the only thing I could do. Do you still have enough Mora? Uh, probably? But don't sweat it. We've already finished renovating the stage. Come on, I'll show you. Yeah. Um, my name is Aether, and I'm building a hologram. Do you want to join? <laughs> no, no, now what indeed do you want to join me? I'm building a harem. You're gonna be joining. Not <laughs> bad. The last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. The stairs were nothing. A little while ago, we discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark ready to fall off. Mr. Zubair was worried sick. We reported it to the Academia many times, but they never sent anyone to deal with it. Well, um, yes we didn't or no. want anything bad happening, Sali so na we were going to cancel all the <laughs> stage performances. Okay, na oh, probably because it was the theater asking. The Academia looks down on performers like us. They probably think it would be best if the theater closed down completely. We can't let that happen, though. Not only would everyone involved in the theater go hungry, but then we wouldn't be able to hold the Subzerus Festival anymore. Aww. Thank the Dendra Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree, and we also gave the stage a much-needed makeover. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. Spoiler! Hindi matutuloy yung festival. And I can't wait to see on the stage. <laughs> You've been practicing so long already. It's almost time for your dream to become reality. <laughs> it's our dream. I'll do my best for the two of us. Milu, what are you going to be doing at the festival? It's going to be dancing. She'll be dancing the dance of Subzerus, the most important performance at the Subzerus Festival. Dunyarzad, have you told him the origin of this holiday? I only told them about the Greater Lord and Lesser Lord so far. Okay. Oh, here we go. I'll tell you two about how this holiday came to be. All right, let's get some lore. According to legend, the Subzerus Festival was originally the Goddess of Flowers' birthday celebration for the Greater Lord. Okay. A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Some of the gods got drunk. One started playing music, and the Greater Lord started singing. So the goddess of flowers began to dance. <laughs> yeah, you can see some of the conflict the grass, grass, how I mean, was beautiful. I mean, I don't expect them to play the festival. Talaga. Those brilliant purple flowers became her dazzling stage. All the gods clamored, Oh, if only time could stop at this very moment. 
That sounds somewhat bittersweet. Huh? Really? Oh, you probably mean to be the only one who's in the story. I would believe that. When you are allowed, I they accept they that as the truth. Si Venti yung the drunk god. I don't know. based on how the goddess of flowers looked. Though we're just tiny people compared to the divine, we still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. Nilu, you of all people will definitely be able to convey our well wishes to the Dendro Archon. I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Padisaras around the stage. <laughs> they symbolize the goddess of flowers, after all. It's just a shame that all the real Padisaras went extinct after her death. Wait, those aren't real? Yeah. The greater lord brought forth Padisaras in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful purple. Thinking about the Goddess of Flowers dance makes me wish I could have seen it. If my stage were anything like that, uh, I'd be thrilled if I had just two real body sars on the stage. Uh, so, Traveler in Paimon, what do you think? Interested in the Sabzerus Festival? Will you two be coming? All of Lesser Lord Kusanali's followers will be there for her birthday. It'll be a good opportunity for you to learn more about her. Yeah. Are <laughs> you sure it's not because you want another fun? Are you sure it's not because you want to watch Nilo dance? Well, I, I want. I want to watch Nilo dance, to be honest. Of course Paimon wants to watch. Those two things aren't mutually exclusive, you know. <laughs> so how about we all attend the sub festival together? Sounds like a plan. Dunyarzad, let me show you which stage decorations we've picked out so far. Traveler in Paimon, if that doesn't sound interesting to you, then feel free to explore the area. Everyone at the Grand Bazaar loves Lesser Lord Kusanali, and we're all looking forward to the Sabzerus Festival. Oh, it's my fault. In that case, we'll take a look around. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Thank you for the share and the like, as always. My internet is acting up right now. Wait, where's Nilu? I want to talk to her. No. Oh. oh, there she is. Did she say something? Nilu, your outfit looks amazing. There's also something different about you from when we first met up. <laughs> I thought I'd add a little extra pizzazz to my dress for the festival. See? Wow. Did you sew all that yourself? It's as. Uh huh. Sewing is a fundamental skill for everyone in the theater company because we make all our own costumes. Did you know that Mr. Zubair not only can make costumes, but props too? <laughs> I've noticed that you can't keep your eyes off that crown over there. Would you like to try it on? <laughs> May I? Of course. The legends say that the goddess of flowers had beautiful horns on her head. So this crown was made to reflect that. Oh, Junior Zod, you look absolutely stunning with it on. It's like I'm looking at the goddess of flowers herself. Wait, so who are you you? Most Japanese voiceover. That's a bosses thing, and the girls are. Passing Tansa in a family. Top of Catario Pastimitanda. Just like a. I don't want to use that word. Siata no inaba but I do stay the Fumo. Potondo, Minaba Tibun de Nundayo. Sadini, to buy the Sama, so that is a nut there. Dogmo's 
CD やはや舞台をこんな風にリニューアルしたのは大変だったわ、mm, どうやら今回の過信探査もいいものになりそうだな私はグランドバザールにはあまり詳しくないがここの人たちが歌ったり踊ったりするってのは知ってるぜ<笑>教霊院はそれが気に食わねえんだここで売ってるフェイスパウダーも悪くないよな他のとこで売ってるやつよりも香りが長持ちするし肌にも優しい<笑>全部他のやつから聞いた話だけどな<笑>はい、よし、最後、ニュースを見ていきましょう。はい、よし、最後、ニュースを見ていきましょう。はい、よし、最後、ニュースを見ていきましょう。はい、よし、最後、ニュースを見ていきましょう。はい、よし、最後、ニュースを見ていきましょう。はい、はい。You know, I also danced when I was younger. As a child, I even <laughs> asked my grandmother why we performed the dance for the lesser lord when it was originally done to honor the greater lord. My grandmother, I, said, I know that's you. The greater lord Rukadavata is a beloved deity and honored by all. And lesser lord Kusanali is too. If the goddess of flowers ever knew lesser Lord Kusanali, then she would certainly have wished to be her friend and hold celebrations for her, too. The Subzerus festival has been losing its appeal over the years. Hmm. That is, until a wealthy benefactor stepped in this year and brought the festival back to life. I heard she forked out a lot of mora to make it all happen.
something pretty similar recently. Yeah, Venti said that. Uh, anyways, what brings you out here, Catherine? No, not particularly. I guess you could say that I'm loving the recent atmosphere here. If festivals bring happiness to everyone, then that's where their true value lies. Oh, it looks like it's about time for me to be heading back now. That's quick. All right, we'll see you next time at the Adventures Guild. Oh, by the way, thanks for connecting us with the Aramites. We've already made some great friends in Sumeru City thanks to you. I'm sure you two will get along well with the people here. You've already been blessed by the element of Dendro, after all. <laughs> See you around. Oh. Hmm. There's something really different about Catherine today. I know, right? Hey, traveler. Paimon. Hello. <laughs> oh, hey, Thea. What's going on? I've got something to tell you. My lady knows you're looking for ways to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali, and she's been trying to come up with a way to help you. Well, I have an idea that might help. Oh? Are you serious? We'd love that! It might not necessarily pan out, so don't get your hopes up too much. I'll need to take you two somewhere and ask someone some questions. Okay, what about doing your side? Uh, my lady is feeling a little worn out at the moment. Nilu's found a place for her to rest. After I take my lady home, let's meet in front of the Citadel of Regzar. Sounds like a plan! Okay. Let's head over to the Citadel of Regzar and wait for Gia! What is that? Wait. What's going on? What is this? Oh, this is Pagasara. Cabbages! Sorry, I'm late. It took some convincing for the master and mistress to believe that Miss Dunyarzad was only sitting in the port for a while because she was in a bad mood. Anyway, I guess I should be thanking you. I haven't seen Miss Dunyarzad that happy in a long time. If it wasn't for you two, she probably would have been caught and dragged back much earlier. <laughs> you sure sound a whole lot nicer than when we first met, Dia. Who would have thought you had such a soft spot for Dunyarzad? It's called being a professional. I'm called being a sundere. I work for whoever's paying. Can, can I pay you? You can you can work for me. I have like twelve million more right now. <laughs> Look, Dia's blushing. Ugh, listen, you two. I don't expect to be working for Miss Dunyarzad very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note if possible. Let's cut the chit chat and head into the citadel. We'll see if the person I know has a way for you two to meet with the lesser lord. Who exactly are we talking about? Oh, hey, Chief. <laughs> Did you? Oh, that's fine. What are you doing here? And well, well, didn't expect to see you three together. <laughs> I take it you all know each other already? Mm hmm We met this morning after the Adventurers Guild pointed us to Ozfan for more info. No kidding. Hmm. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two out by asking about the theft. Anything you can tell him? Ruksha's gone over to the Academia. The Grand Sage recently ordered Sumeru City to begin bolstering its defenses, so people from all over have been called back to the city. <clears throat> Since you've already mentioned the theft, I suppose I might as well tell him what we know. Appreciate it, Chief. Uh, theft? Sorry, what the heck are you guys talking about? Just recently, the Academia lost something, and there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. This case might just somehow help you in meeting her. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. But if you ask me, 
The case is more about the academia than anything right, sorry. else. Sorry, ancient class of history. Final claim or Cydia? Yes. yes. Recently sent a as far as I know. To pick up an important package Based from on Baruch data mine. Word got out, and the convoy was robbed on its way back. The Grand Sage took the whole matter very seriously. Not only did he dispatch the Matra, but also enlisted our help in the search for leads. All we know so far is that whatever was stolen is currently in Port Ormos. You two have heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? It's the largest commercial port in all of Sumeru. You can travel there by leaving Sumeru City and heading south along the river. The Academia's grip isn't long enough to reach all the way to Port Ormos, so the city's a little more laid back, meaning the pop- Apparently what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha, knowledge, and even the gods. I'm afraid I don't have any other details for you, though. If you're interested, maybe you could head to Port Ormos and ask around yourselves. If you want my advice, try introducing yourselves as students of the Academia once you're there. Are you serious, Chief? All the Academia students are in Sumeru City, you know. Why should they pretend to be students in Port Ormos? <laughs> if you're also interested, just go there and see what happens. <sighs> Count me out. I've got plenty of work to do here for the Homayani family. And take it from me, if you two really do decide to visit Port Ormos, you best watch your backs. Let's just say that the Eremites there aren't nearly as friendly as those here in Sumeru City. There are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans like Retake Sumeru for the Scarlet King. Word is that more and more are joining their movement. They're becoming a real headache for Chief and the others. You bet they are. The Scarlet King's been dead for thousands of years. Scarlet King. Now they start spreading rumors of his return. Ridiculous. Not everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandon their homes in the wilderness still wish to have a god of their own. <sighs> well, Traveler, that's about all the information we have for you. Thanks, Dia! And you too, Osfan! Since we've gathered all we could for the moment in Sumeru City, let's head to Port Ormos and see what we can find next. Miss Dunyarzad is looking forward to seeing you both at the Subzerus Festival, so be sure to get yourselves back here in time for that. Good. Then we'll see you both at the Subzerus Festival. Alright, let's like this. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm not fucking lying! Alright, well, let's start our journey. Teleport sa Gondorba Bill. Pero kasi hindi, hindi na siguro. Kasi ito ako naroon itong battle with me. Halfway na. Kaya. I'm 3 hours in. Full pa lang ako. Alright. Possible para pa ako tingnan ko ito ko na. What's this? I 
not. Let me see. Oh, what are you? Oh, hi. Oh, shit. What's up, my guy? The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. Alright, we're getting close. Oh, wait. In the video. Ah, ah. Oh, Rafael Guetta. Thank you for the chair. I appreciate it. Uh, can I worship? I need 20 for the first one. God damn. Oh, there it is! Oh my god, that looks so cool! Bro, look at that. <laughs> and thank you for the follow, Rafael. I appreciate it. Look at that. Damn. Imagine, biglang umikot-ikot pa lang yan, kagaya ng mga ruin birds. <laughs> Can I climb that? <laughs> Yo, we spin crystal. Nice. Oh. And then drop it. Oh. 
Na bandoko. Parang hindi na surrender yung ano. Parang hindi na surrender yung grass. <laughs> Is that it? That would be cool though. Maybe like like a weekly boss thing. Tapos may like special mechanics. O paano natin tatalo? You know, same kay the bullet. Na kailangan. That's everything. I sirain mo na natin yung shield niya. Then aakyat tayo dun sa like sa nape sa back sa back ng ulo niya. Then a tarigin natin yung corrupted crystals. Pwede kung ganon na action. Parang ganun yung magiging mekan. Sa din Tropolis. Or like Shadow of the Colossus style. I don't know kung nalaro mo na yun or nakita mo na yung game na yun. But basically parang aakit ka sa... Sa, mon sa, mob sa monster. Sa mga giants. Then, may hahanap ng weak point. Then, sa stab mo yung weak point para ma-damage mo. Pwede kong ganun. Parang ganun klaseng mechanics. Saan? Oh, the music. The music is good though. yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. 
<laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict. But does the core of 30 care? And that's not all. Did you know that? Jesus, what are you doing? Related to the gods. But other than that, we don't have much else to go on. Hmm. Osfun told us to try posing as academia students while asking around. Paimon checked the Akasha on the way here, and the academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities in poor Ormos. Paimon doesn't get it. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're academia students and asking about the stolen item? Uh, figuring that out could be crucial for the rest of our investigation. Yeah, that's well, true. given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, Paimon bets we could find it in the market. Let's ask around and see what we come up with. Alright. Talk to the troubled artist. Oh, we get a camera for that. Welcome, welcome. Uh, how can I help you too? Ah, uh, hi there. We would like to ask you a question. Um, do students from the academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course, especially around this time of year. Students from Sumeru City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos to cut loose a little. Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to become full-time researchers at the academia have it even harder. Sure, we may not be Sumeru City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress-free some even say uh, it's good I don't know. Pero feeling ko may malaking impact ng si Bayesho sa Sumeru. Probably, I don't know. Too much at the academia. Ah, you see over there? Maybe later on sa Archon Quest. Baka sa future patches. Meron siyang pagtatayin siya sa story. Ask me, the life of a merchant is better. So long as the Akasha teaches us what we need. Then life is good. Kasi as of right now, busy ba yung maghanap ng cure para sa illness niya? Let's see if we can listen in. Inang sabing parang di daw gagawin ko yung busy ba yung kasi 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 yung greater lord. Well, I mean, baba yung greater lord. So... Ngayon, less chance na si Baiju yung lumang arcon dahil babae kayo. Or, I don't know, baka based sa design, babae pala talaga si Baiju. You know, like, Seicho, originally, especially for new players, ang akala nila is babae siya. Tapos nalaki pala. Wait, come on. I don't know. Don't you see? Many of the Eremites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Eremites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. I've heard that Ainel Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Transparency. <laughs> if you're willing to part with half a million more, oh, no. I'll give you info on anything. Wait, wait did you say oh. half a million? If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy That's like a good game breaker. <sighs> I guess we might as well give up on trying to graduate this way. 
ano, I mean, so far, plausible pa rin na maging playable si Baishu based on design. But like, plot-wise, hindi ko alam kung paano siya mag-fit it. I guess that makes sense. Dahil wala naman tayo masyadong importation sa akin. Ang alam ko lang, meron siyang incurable disease. But katrabaho siya sa Bubu Pharmacy along with Chi-Chi. Try to find that cure para sa disease. A niche field of research and shading knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. Is knowledge something people just buy and sell like that? Yeah, I mean, Yai Biko told us that knowledge is used as a resource here, right? Baka yung snake niya yung R-Code. That's an interesting point of view, to be honest. That's an interesting point of view. Yung snake niya yung R-Code. Tapos kumbaga si Baijur lang is yung para caretaker or like bodyguard mismo. That's an interesting point of view, actually. Holy shit, wait. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. That opens up a whole new avenue of like theories and shit. Kasi may marami na ako napanood na mga theory crafters about dun. Kung bakit ang... Kung bakit ang... Kung bakit si Baisho ang inakala nila na parang dentro orphan dati. And most of the time, may kinalaman si... Ano pangalan yung snake niya? Ano pangalan yung alaga niya? Taas. Malimuto ko yung pangalan. Kasi ayaw yung alaga niya. Most of the time kapag kinoconnect si Baishu to the to Ruka Devata, may kinalaman lagi yung aas niya. Hindi yung aas niya, yung alaga niya ng snake. Jesus Christ. Oh, you've arrived. Please take a seat. So they think that they can go toe to toe with the boss? Ha! Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. Power of the Scarlet King. They're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracol Battalion. They've also amassed a significant amount of more this time, so we mustn't underestimate them. How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? Yeah, with boss's fervent devotion, he'll be able to use this power to bring our god back this time. Huh. All these guys talk about is the Scarlet King, so they're probably the ones we're looking for. <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata, that traitor and her followers must not be spared. That the day traitor. will come when the Scarlet King exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. Yeah, what do they mean? Paimon was wondering what they meant too. We should ask about that if we get the chance later. Hello, my good sir. Have you heard of our what Lord and Savior, Lesser Lord Kusanani? <laughs> I'm a student from the a academia. Student? What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? I don't know. I'm looking for info about a certain something. Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? I have 12 million. I can give you 5 million if you want to. <laughs> Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? I just have one more question. Oh, that's right! We heard you mention the Scarlet King just now. We're actually interested to know more because... Uh... Come on, Paimon! Come on, come on, come on! Alright. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. As you can see, members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of the Scarlet King. Years ago, the Scarlet King founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. It was an advanced civilization, far beyond anything you'll see in present-day Sumeru. Okay. The Scarlet King was the rightful god of wisdom. 
but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. What if... No, no, no. So, you mean the traitor was... Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed the Scarlet King's civilization. And our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Ugh, just thinking about it sickens me. <sighs> but the story doesn't end there. Oh no. The Scarlet King isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. Mark my words, our god shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true god will suffer retribution together. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of the Scarlet King. <laughs> I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. Not just yet. This man is a fraud. Oh! I'll hate him! Huh? You again? T deranged academia lunatic! Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures to make things uncomfortable for you. Listen to me. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. This group has been boasting all around that they can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. So the perception of Genos is talking about snakes and Sibai should have something. Yeah, you can find a lot about you can find a lot of like world building stories sa mga uh, yeah, ascension materials or artifacts and stuff like that. Once you show but unfortunately, they don't have a lot of evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more you're worth. Hey, shut it all, Haytham. What are you playing at trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? I told you the other day. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. I'm warning you. Don't. What if he buys you a scarlet thing, right? We don't usually get rough with that. Young snake is because your because it just see you know the bottom. Things. For a lunatic like you, though, that would be crazy. Have to make an exception. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. After all, even the Archons yeah, use more to negotiate design, the ownership though. of Tevat. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all, then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. I will jeopardize the Aramite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear that by then, some things will have happened that cannot be undone. Also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell yeah, your boss no, 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 I don't know why. Pero mas what did you say? Madali siya para sa akin kapag ganun. Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? This guy is really out of his mind. Okay then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Faros Lighthouse, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. Don't expect us to hold back. Why not just now? Not so fast. First, you return <laughs> 500,000 more to them. Hm. 
Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. I'll pay for it. Ah, Mr. Iman. There appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word to the students, would it? I, uh... Well... <laughs> would it? Someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Wow. Yeah. Like for example, yung nakawa nat yung book na nakawa natin sa ekonomiya. Yung the sun and moon. Hindi ko pinasa yun directly. Nanood ako ng Twitch streamer na pinasa yun. <laughs> Yun yung ginawa ko. And that book was really interesting. If you haven't read it, I suggest you go read it. Kung hindi nyo pa nababasa yung before sun in, na nakuha natin sa ekonomiya, I suggest you go read it. And sobrang ganda ng lore dun. It pertains the lore before Tevat. What do you want? No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity I needed. We're even. Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your mora in the end, they might harass you again in the future. Uh, they're welcome to try. <sighs> All right. Goodbye. Hold your horses! We still have something to ask you about! But I'm red to some Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about a... a certain um, something. Certain something, no? Who exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring about that? I'm a student from the academy. A student. <laughs> right. Red Look, is a you should yeah, know no? that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. Huh? Oh, yeah! He's really strong. Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. He doesn't even have a vision. Forget I it. don't need a vision. That's so primitive, okay? Maybe not, but he can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... I'll... I... From guys like that. From guys like that. Those high-headed thugs are definitely gonna bring a lot of backup for your next meeting. Even if you don't go alone, you won't regret taking us with you. Hmm. Si Baiju nagpalaga ng Gigi, di ba? Ah, yes, technically. Siya yung parang naging babysitter ni Gigi. Ah. All right, I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise, I'll give you one of their addresses, and you can try your luck. Alam ko kasi parang curious she, curious yung bayi yung matang nung sa nangyari kay Chichi. We'll reconvene at the end of the time. Singa resurrection ng ginawa ni Chichi. It doesn't matter if you show up or not. So curious she. Merchant's information. Does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after? You were willing to part with 500,000 more for something and you didn't even know what it was? <laughs> okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. Look, if you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Oh, matagal nang you know so nangyari kay Chichi so I don't waste time right I, I don't know specifically kung gano'ng katagal. We know it's connected to the academia somehow. Uh, and that not only do the air like feel in it, but Steelers kasi si Baiju. Hmm. 
Nalimutan ko na kasi yung mga information na nakuha ko sa kanya nung nanood ako ng mga theory characters. You know almost everything there is to know. Pero no na pala nang magandang video din. About the boy because you've never seen the other before. Sa tagal ng last year ko pa This is what you've been looking for. Uh, why do you have it? Paimon can't tell what it is. It looks like some kind of ornament. This is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. I don't think I'm sure that after the incident with Gigi, if they got to know about it, I'm not sure if that's what happened. Anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. I don't think that's what happened. I'm not sure. Correct. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information, knowledge capsules can further contents without any requisites. Okay. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermin Soul into the Akasha and are intended to be destroyed immediately after use. But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. After all, there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied with life as designed for them by the Akasha yep. and wish to change their fate. Over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the academia. Now, in Port Ormos, the valuable ones are a means to Mora for the Aramites. Meanwhile, those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless academia students. Well, I think that about sums it up. I heard that academia lost something recently. Oh, so that's your true objective. I want to learn more about it. With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. Uh, what do I have to do? <sighs> You're still resolved. Fine. Let's talk somewhere with fewer people. What's this? Oh, it's, uh, it's the quest one. Para makawawa si Paul. Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with something. Alright. I need you to find someone named Dory. Ah, a Dory! traveling merchant. Unlike the peddlers who Finding hop Dory. your knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. Some say that as long as there is profit to be made, there is nothing she won't dare to sell. She's guarded against people from the Academia because most of her wares don't comply with Academia regulations. I think she blacklisted me. <laughs> I met with her informant, but it soon became clear that they had no intention of letting me get any further. Become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This is my condition for further collaboration. Okay. Why do you want us to meet with her? Until you complete this task, you don't have question privileges. Fine. <sighs> Fine. So how do we go about doing this? You two are outlanders who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. I'll give you the informant's address and their contact password. Beyond the password, though, I have no way of knowing what other tricks she might have up her sleeve. You'll have to improvise. Uh, this is kind of nerve-wracking. The true challenge begins after you meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares. And she only likes customers who she deems to have good taste. I'll prepare some funds for you. Buy her highest quality wares and earn her approval. What? We only just saw a knowledge capsule for the first time! We don't know how to tell which ones are good and which ones are bad. Uh, is that something we can learn quickly? Hmm, that's true. Have you two heard of Elemental Sight? Of course, sight? it's Elemental Sight. Oh? That's a surprise. I guess I'll have to hold you in higher regard. Anyway, that ability should resolve your issue. 
Alright, I'll pay them. Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? Um, they look the same to my mind. Try inspecting them with elemental sight. Oh, that one. How'd it go? Did you see anything? Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. How does that work? That's because knowledge originates from Ermensoul, the root of Dendro power itself. That's true. The more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in Dendro energy. Okay. However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times, so those capsules are of little value. Using elemental sight is merely a stopgap measure, but it should suffice for earning Dory's trust. That sounds pretty impressive. Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password, and here is the mora for purchasing canned knowledge. Don't be cheap. You'll need to spend to catch Dory's eye. If there's any more left over, just keep it. Oh, and be sure to exercise some caution. There have been Matra present in Port Ormos lately. Your efforts will be for naught if they catch you. Matra? Hmm. They belong to the Academia's regulatory body. They also handle cases of illegal canned knowledge transactions. Like I said, the Academia has banned both their trade and possession. The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. If you two want to back out, now's the time. Yeah, I'm going to take that risk. Okay, then we have a deal. If you succeed in your dealings with Dory, come find me at the Wikela Funduk. Wikela we'll Funduk. open discussion then. Looking at what Al Haytham wrote, Dory's informant is a trainer near Old Ormos. Let's follow these instructions and try to get in contact with him. Sonomic <laughs> acknowledged it in real life. Oh my god, yeah. How much I would pay para make knowledge. Imagine, pwede mong bilhin na lang yung knowledge and time. Hello, what are you two looking to buy? Uh Wait, is there a right answer here? <laughs> what a unique palette. We have unripe horror fruits, oh. but we usually keep them in the back. Following the paper got us past the first round. Oh, okay. Ronak, these two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Show them to the warehouse. Got it. You two, please follow me. Rona. You two have a fascinating fashion sense. We haven't seen a customer wearing a Sumeru rose for quite some time. Uh, hold on. Let me think. Sumeru rose means common merch. Um, no, look again. We're obviously wearing morning flowers. Ah, my mistake. I do apologize. That pop quiz sure was scary. Ah, the warehouse is up ahead. Please follow me. Can you walk faster? It's also got tong section of games. Pag naglakanta ako mas mobilis siya. Pag yung jogging naman, so mobilis ako. Huh? Hi. The quest location is currently. Kailangan ko gawin to. Do I have to do this? Yeah, the quest location is currently involved in other quests. Please check the details. Please come to. God, but I hate these kind of types of quest designs. Kite na Kite submit lang. Port Ormos is pretty great. 
There's so many new and interesting Because for me, this is bad quest design. All the tasty food. Sumeru's largest commercial pork sure lives up to its name. Uh, all thanks to you. But well, because main story quest uh, should be uninterrupted. Whoa. Yeah. Compared to everyone else, they seem really down in the dumps. Let's go find out what's going on. Oh, hey there. Paimon's name is Yo, I don't find the world quest. Uh, what's prototype Aranara? Oh, no, not the first. So what? So for context, for the stores, this is a prototype. When we put it out, they thought it looked like no. Worse than that, actually. This is not an orange I've read, Uncle Tom. Mm. Uncle Tom, this car is... Ooh, Casita and Alia didn't... It doesn't look too... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that took a sudden turn for the... Right, because, I mean, for my opinion, this is bad quest design. Like, as I was saying... How did it go? Uh, MSQs for main story quests uh, should be growing. uninterrupted. Oh. Kailangan straight yan as much as possible. Hindi po kailangan gumawa ng ibang side quest in order to continue a story quest. Dahil sisira yung immersion mo and yung... Uh, hindi ko alam ko ano yung word yung isang hinahanap. Like yung commitment mo to the story quest and yung immersion mo is nasisira. Like, see? And also for our reward. Yep. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I can start lang, tas pwede na ako bumalik. But still, this is for me a bad quest design. I shouldn't have. I should not go out of my way to interrupt my story quest in order to quit to continue it. Right? Just make it. No, no. Ayusin na rin yung system na dapat dire-diretso. I mean, it's not that simple, I know. I need to confirm a few things. Please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Kasi nawawala ka sa immersion ng main story quest. Okay, please forgive me if we have not sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror foods were taken by mice. Uh... Ano dapat pili ko dito? Dahil, di ba? Nawala na ako sa ano kay eh, sa ano eh, sa commitment ko eh. Kasi, I'm pretty sure may tamang sagot dito. Sabihin nyo na lang sa akin. <laughs> Is it I'm sorry to hear that or congratulations to you? Actually, pick. Ayaw akong ano eh. So, dire-diretso na tayo. Hindi ako pwede mag-pack. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Uh, I prefer something that causes heat to dizziness with the side of Pinatos. Merbo, ano? Pero yung mababasa ba yun? Di ba may binigay sa atin si Al Haytam na papel? Mababasa ba yun? Dat Tatara binasa ko yun, no? Para alam ko kung ipipiliin ko. Ah... Uh, ano? Mahuhula na lang ako. No, that's not it! The Ay. paper said that heat stroke... Masabihin naman pala ni Paimon kapag pala. Uh, ah! I'm sorry. He's cautious of us. Let's take a closer look at the paper that Al Haytam gave us. Mas masisilip ko ba yung dito? Dito ba yun? Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, okay. Where are some arrows? Looking to buy products in D2B available in the market. Mouse, customer. Uh, let's see. Complimenting a customer of skill corresponds to how to... That causes dizziness and ringing the ears. Complimenting a customer of erudition corresponds to car of fruit that causes heat stroke. Okay, so dizziness nga yung pangalawa. Back and forth. Purchase in bulk. Uh, taking 
combined mines confiscated by Amata so customers okay. Before I retrieve your product, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by mice. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Yep, that's the right answer. But eating Hara fruit that makes your head and ears ring sounds like a bad life decision. Would you like your Hara fruits to be packaged in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo style? Uh, Port Ormo style. Wow, you two sure are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. Okay, everything has been confirmed. Nestori is waiting for you up at... Shoot, it's the Matra! Run! What? The Matra? Where? I'll hate them zipper dump for if they catch us! We gotta get out of here! Where are they? We don't know this area, so let's follow that informant! Hiding from the Rishkalan tiger. Come this way. Another password. Huh? Oh, that voice came from behind the building on the right. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's Dory. Over here. You can stop running now. The cooler Diona. <laughs> so you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But uh, are we definitely gonna be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, I'll just excuse myself. Oh, very good. Thank you. I like her eyes, though. JP Dub. I like the fucking gum on man. Wait, you're Dory? I'm not sure that you look like that. Pretty pretty gifts purchased. Well, technically, di nila pwede gawin yun dahil maraming chests kasi talaga eh. Diba? Pag kinompare mo sa TOF kasi, ang supply pod si Steve na ang gano'n pa na. Alright. Pero kapag kinompare mo sa treasure chest dito, it's marami. Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess P-Brain? I can be scary enough when I need to be, believe you me. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing any business. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings, haven't you? Uh, I guess. Uh, I'm I say exquisite, but. Yeah. but we'll take Pwede it. siguro sa ano? Wag naman fight. Wag naman toy. It's exquisite. It's good to take exquisite. People who start hopping and popping up to the surface. I've also done exquisite. How much more they might have? Not precious. Not only will they get caught by the matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. So that's why I prefer to have customers like you. It's your first time here, but don't worry. I won't ask. I'm gonna say I'm going to go. Just leave. Even if you wish to buy enough knowledge capsules to decorate your house, five premium gems per gold chest. Knock yourself out. As long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, then we're all good. Ah, yes, of course, of course. Go ahead. I am Luxurious. Yourself. Voila! I'm Luxurious, right? The Luxurious is 20 premium gems, right? But it's so much of a pity. She's got knowledge. She'd probably be in serious trouble if the Matra caught her with all this. What kind of 
products do you seek, my dear customers? Oh, don't worry, I'm not interested in your reasons for buying. I can, however, offer some suggestions. Take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology and dialectics of the Hillichers. Oh, Elon Musk would the love that. And all of Tibet have ever studied it, making it extremely rare. It's on sale now. Elon Musk would love this. <laughs> Be an expert in that topic. Uh, Elon Musk. Or how about the architectural? Oh, I would, I would love that. Methods of Tibet in the early Argon War period. I would love that. With this one, you can become an expert in historic architecture preservation and find an excellent, well-paying job in nearly any nation. Ooh, now this sounds like it could be useful. Two million mora, and it's yours. Bam! And no discounts. Whoa! That's a lot of mora! Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. The contents and price of each knowledge capsule are indicated in small text on the body of each one, down at the bottom. Alright, let's try the method that I'll hate them mention. Are we communicating telepathically? <laughs> How does that work? Okay, there's three of them. And this one, as well as this one. Uh, you really got a good head on your shoulders. I'm quite the yeah, right. quality. Pa sponsor naman dyan, Dory. Mga naman. Can't knowledge. I'll take these. Please and thank you. My oh my, you are blessed with the taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed. One in a hundred. No, one in a thousand even. Listen, I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value of one million more. Say what now? Say what now? Did you hear that? Spend another 100k and we get a capsule worth a whole million! That's... That's gotcha tactics right there. <laughs> that is gotcha tactics right there. Mi Hoyo. Or Hoyoverse. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. But all the can knowledge we just got is... That's gotcha tactics. If we spend just a little more, we can get something worth one million. That's ex that's Isn't what that they want you to think. Deal? No, that's what they want you to think. You're just spending more. You're not getting a discount, you're just spending more. Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this can knowledge. And so far, everything we bought belongs to all Haytham. Aren't you even the least bit curious about how this whole can knowledge thing works? We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? Hi, Mon. You just, you just want to see me try it. Come on, come on! We still have around a hundred thousand of our Hatham's more left. So let's put it to good use by finding something useful for you. Ahem, you got a deal, Dory! We'd like to spend an extra one hundred thousand more. Excellent! And then please, select from this fine collection of canned knowledge over here. Yeah, I'm like a big debauchee. Uh, fine. Uh, hold on a second. Time I thought we could choose whatever we wanted. Why yeah, see? Exactly. Come over there? Exactly. Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million more each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to find something to your liking. Please, take your time. Uh-oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. See? There's nothing worth it. So? What did you see? So, they're all worth about the same amount? Well, anyway, the more's already been spent, so let's at least try to find something You useful. spent it! Let Paimon take a look here. 
an introduction to traditional Sumeru brewing techniques, the art of growing spices, an overview of ancient runes. Sword fighting oh, techniques. How about seven. this one? Sword fighting techniques oh, eight. eight. Not sure we'd ever find volumes one through seven, but at least this knowledge should be useful, right? Let's go with this one. Oh, Dory, we'll take this one. All right, very good. I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon. Whether it's canned knowledge or anything else you need, bring your Mora to Dory and doors will open. I'll find you. I feel as if Dory went smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakala Funduk and meet up with Alhatham. Hopefully now he'll finally tell us about what the Academia lost. Alright, I need to take a bathroom break real quick. I'll be back. Come on, enough procrastinating. Go. Work-life balance, but I think this Jake is Dog. Passionate. I mean, I don't want to talk about it. Wait, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the I'm sure there's dialogue. Naman siya. She reminds me of. Uh. Oh, my God. It's not a quest. She reminds me of Shirai Kuroko from. Uh. From Railgun. I don't know why. But I don't know why. But I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't Check us to go to the Japanese dog. No. Dory. Ah, you two made it. And from the looks on your faces, you were successful. Whoa, there's so many people from the academia here. Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? Well, Wakela Funduk is under the academia's control, so naturally the academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Macho won't come here. <sighs> okay, now, tell me how your encounter with Dora. Kailan napansin yung decide ng patay? Lost now? 
Before that, I have to ask, why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer, of course. Yeah, he just wants to meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. In that case, you're on the right track. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. You can <laughs> you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Wow, there's really such a thing as that? Hey, if we find it, do you think we can learn how to meet the Dendro Archon? Ooh, or how to find your sister? I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use Vitality. So, where are you? No, I forgot. That's what we need to find out next. I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. As you know, the Aramites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late, but there is still no victor. Ayoko magpikot. Ayoko. Balan? Mamaya after stream. With those of the Aramites. After attempting various. Ade mo tawo si gumawa ako ng video kaniyan about. Like gumawa ako ng guide video about werewolves. Nagrecord ako ng video kan. I agreed to forego ownership of the divine knowledge capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, there's no harm in understanding what it is. However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation, such as those from Ain al Ahmar. Ain al Ahmar. They adamantly believe that the divine knowledge capsule contains the Scarlet King's power. And that he will return to this world. They, and they, gotcha they refuse to let anyone from the academia tarnish their deity. But they go palaging purple or gold to be very signs of big on the body. So you kept hounding them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. Ainul Ahmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. To that end, they've resorted to many methods more foul than fair in order to amass sufficient funds. So, I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. Huh. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Each brigade will place their own bid, and the prize will be covertly given to the winner. To ensure the capsule's security, and to evade the Matra's notice, the winning brigade will not publicly disclose their victory. Mm -hmm. Unless I know whose hands the Divine Knowledge Capsule ends up in, my agreements with them will fall through. Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously closed to me. With you on board now, the situation is different. In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Yes, you can say that. But this arrangement harms none of us. That's true. The day after tomorrow, go back to Dory and try to purchase information on the Divine Knowledge Capsule's whereabouts. If she has no information, wait two days and approach her again. If I get the opportunity to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? Uh, yeah. Okay. Then we'll meet up in two days. bought a knowledge capsule for ourselves, but we're not sure how to use it. <laughs> you two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Ooh. Sure. All right. I can teach you. Doing so right under the Academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. What do you say we head to the outskirts of town? Right. Let's see. What up, one? Hello. <laughs> uh, hi. Go 
Double jump, double jump, that's dash. I want double jump, dash. What is that? What's this? Is this a silly? <laughs> ano to bagong silly ba to? Alright, I'm gonna follow you. Where will you take me? Hmm? Drop this. Yes. Huh. Ow. Treasure is concerned. <laughs> All right, but it takes a nice cube. All right, this place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Here, hmm, sword fighting techniques eight, huh? A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days, since most have been taken by the Aramites to augment their battle capabilities. Really? Ah, oh, yeah, what a great buy! If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles, one before using this knowledge capsule and one after. While you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. Okay. There may be variances in your physical strength between the two tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. But don't worry. I'll run statistical analyses afterward to mitigate any confounding effects. Wow! I hate them! You must be <laughs> one of those guys at the Academia who got top grades on everything! Um, Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the academia, right? So, why are you risking getting caught by the mantra for this capsule? When you are unable to understand the researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. Hmm, sounds like you're trying to avoid the question. Alright, let's begin the test. Just fight as you normally do. Akasha terminal to record data. The next step is to use this knowledge capsule. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. Uh, 
in your inventory and you use the cannon part of it. Probably use this time. Then the next day the spirit into the recesses of my memory. Interesting. Hey, how are you feeling? I felt something for a moment. Whatever was inside the knowledge capsule became part a part of my memory. You mean that it worked? All right, time for round two. Fight with the same composure as before. <sighs> All right. I'll start recording data again. Oh, Hatham, how's it going? Well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve his combat capability. <laughs> During the second <laughs> fight, the overall performance increased by 0.073%. Ah. Wait, how much? That's basically zero. Of course, this could be because he is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. That's true. At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. I'm heading back to Akela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. Damn! Yaman, para si ano? Parang si ano para tayo? Parang si Child. Kakabigay lang yung sa tayo ng moral ni ni. Si binigay din naman tayo. Yaa, may mga rich kid yung mga nandito sa Sumero. Oh wait, two days. God damn it. Uh, Japanese, so ma maritik pa yung uh, voice over ni Tori. Yung mga dalawa talaga. Isaganay to. Can I take this? She really does sound like she like Robo from Real God. Kanzumi知識ではもう満足できないようですのね。uh, I'd like to buy info on the whereabouts of the divine knowledge caps. 
あなたたちのような気前のいいお客様は普通の缶詰知識なんてアウトオブ単純なのですのねただその情報は決して安くはないですの何しろ取引現場に忍び込むのはとても大変でしたのよそれに情報をもらしたのが私だと知られれば人に狙われますわでもお前の情報が本当だってどうやって証明するんだよしかもなんでちょうどその情報を持ってるんだ Alright, I'm really curious. チェコランプレンプレンプレンプレンそうですね。それに情報の信憑性についてはなおさら心配無用ですの取引の瞬間を写真機に収めましたからごまかしは通用しませんわ right, さすがお客様毎度ありがとうございます代金は確かにいただきましたわでは耳を澄まして聞いてくださいまし神の缶詰知識は昨日アフマルの目の棟梁であるニズリさんによって確保されましたわアフマルの目あのスカーレットキングを信奉するエルマイト旅団かあらお客様もよくご存知ですのねアフマルの目は神の缶詰知識にスカーレットキングの力が宿っていると信じてますのでそのために全力しているのですわさすがは神の缶詰知識うーん今まで見たことのないような真っ赤な輝きを放っていましてよ私が撮った写真にも神の缶詰知識がはっきりと映っていますわいますわ情報ありがとなあたりいいんですのお二人のように知識の豊富なお客様がいてくださるなんて昨日の苦労は無駄ではなかったんですのね。今後も何かあればいつでもお越しくださいまーし。神の缶詰知識の情報を手に入れたと。まさか本当にアフマルの目の手に渡っちゃうなんてな。早くアルハイゼンのところに戻ろうぜ。I'm too lazy to read that at all. Look at that. Clear as day. 
It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramite's transaction. But then, to get close enough to take a picture like this. Bold move, Dory. Very bold move. All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, the leader of Ain al Ahmar. And the glowing red capsule he's holding appears to be the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Red Capsule? In which case, if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we should be able to force them to show their hand. Don't tell me. Now we skip a whole time. Next week. First, Pylon didn't get why you were provoking these Ain el Ahmar guys. But now, it sort of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hands. After we defeat them, we can finally have a serious talk with their boss and get them to lend us the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged date, 3 o'clock sharp. See you then. Okay. All right. Good. Oh, hey, I'm sure he's taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. Yep, let's go. Is that it? Oh, it's over there. Crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. It was I who demanded that these negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. But to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. This is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. <laughs> I assume you don't mind. Backup? Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? You've come to support this lunatic because he helped you out? <laughs> Fine. Your funeral. Your funeral, not mine. I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, you'll be nothing more than fish food. Get them, boys! <sighs> okay. Uh-oh, here they come. Uh, good luck, you two. That's close enough. Think you can get away? Scum! <laughs> Boss! Finally! Did you use it? Great! Now we can... Uh -huh. uh... Boss? There's a glitch in the Matrix! Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, Nani? Boss! Ooh, damn. Boss! What's wrong? What happened to him? Red, yung ano nyo? We have to cut his Akasha connection. Now. Damn! <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh! Ooh! That was clean. That was clean. Target acquired. Arrest him. Uh -huh. Oh shit. Okay. Right, hold on, hold on. Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Hatham? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away. Oh. <laughs> Alright, alright, that was cool, that was cool. 
Good work there, I'll hate them. Good work. What happened to him? World, forget me. Uh, what? What did you say? Not like he did lose lost his mind. It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. Yeah, the grid you want, yeah, the grid you want. Akasha system. You mean the divine knowledge capsule did that to him? Wala pa rin tata. Yeah, I won't deny that. Na maganda pa rin talaga animations ng game ng ni ni Hoyo. Oh yeah. You mean how sorry? Top tier pa rin talaga. Very clean, smooth. I've heard of numerous incidents of research and animations going insane. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Okay, this divine knowledge cap capsule does appear to be linked to the gods. What gods are we talking about? Archons, Celestia, uh, the Heavenly Principles. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? Yeah, that's what we heard from before at the Airman Soul. If the Matra took him away, then that means the Academia got the Divine Knowledge Capsule back too. Ugh, what a shame. We were so close. Don't worry. I'll hate them snatched it. Still, Paimon didn't expect the Divine Knowledge Capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine if we tried to open it. Oh, who knows what would have happened to us? As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. I believe our collaboration has also reached its end. Oh, we were so busy trying to find the Divine Knowledge Capsule that... I might forget to ask you something. Since you're a member of the Academia, do you have any idea how we could go about meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali? Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Most of the time, you Meron pa to, no? Kasi, at all. I think sabi niyo, mamimit ko pa si Inahida dito. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Uh, everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery! I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? Uh, it's almost the day of the sub -Zero. Yeah, but probably go back to somewhere. Maybe we should head back too. Next night on. Alright. I'm going to go to the next prologue. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, let's return to Sumero City. Then we'll part ways here, I'll hate them. Until we meet again. Get me out of here. Now, do I deal with this thing first? Or should I produce the report that the higher ups require? Niya sinabi no, na nakinuwa niya yung capsule. You're sus. I'll hate them. Alright, chapter three, Act One, complete. Through mists of smoke. Alright, the coming of the Sub Zero's festival. Medyo vague pa rin yung explanation ng Divine Capsule kasi ang sinasabi lang is connection, connect, connected siya sa gods, but like, which gods? We didn't miss the Sub-Zero's festival, right? Let's hurry and find Dunyarzai! Paimon thinks she must be around the Grand Bazaar since she showed us around there last time. Nero sa'yo, ba't parang malungkot ka? <laughs> Natalo ka sa 50-50, no? It's fine. There she is! Senor Zard! We're back! 
just as promised. Traveler and Paimon. Oh, I'm so glad that you two came back to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Alright. It's a very important festival after Indeed. all. Indeed. The festival's tomorrow. We've been preparing for so long that I can't help but feel a little nervous. There's no need to be nervous. I'm unsure that Lesser Lord Kusanali will feel everyone's gratitude. <sighs> Thanks, Paimon. I hope that everyone who comes to the festival will also have a good time. Speaking of which, um, did you manage to make your way to Port Ormos? Discover anything over there? Uh, not really. Of course we went! A lot of things happened there. Yeah. <sighs> I see. Sounds like you two had another exciting adventure. If there is another chance, I would love to join. Good. Would you like to join my hotter? <laughs> Lady, if you went to Port Ormos in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. The uh Dia! You were eavesdropping! It's called covert protection. Keeping an ear out for what's going on around my employer is part of the job. It's alright, Dia. I merely said I would like to go. I know better than to think my body could handle it. <sighs> the festival's tomorrow. I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you. So, Dia, please take some time to relax. I'll be fine. Mm, even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Come on, you're talking about Blake. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, Ruby na palabas, R -W -B -Y. Come on, come on, you're Blake Bellator. Don't worry, my guardian knight. <sighs> okay, fine, but only tonight. Tomorrow's a big day, and many no-good scumbags are going to try to take advantage of that. Ah. Oh, uh, you two must be exhausted from your long journey back to the city. Uh, my apologies for not realizing this sooner. I've already prepared a room for you to rest. Please follow me. Whoa, you're so thoughtful. Paimon's so ready. All right, to more than a thousand roses for this. Some button. Oh, that's so cool. Automatic doors. Man, this, this place looks so amazing. It's also fairly close to where I've been staying. It looks really nice. Sorry for the trouble, Lucas. <laughs> Not at all. It, just tell me more about your adventures when you next get the chance. That's Paimon's specialty. Paimon can tell you stories next time. Uh, about our plans for oh, tomorrow. Oh, you don't mind? How about we all walk around together tomorrow? Sure. All of my friends will be working the festival, and Dia is still insisting on her covert protection. Yeah, it'll be pretty hard to relax and enjoy the festival if Dia's constantly hovering over you, right? Dunyar's art banner win. <laughs> then let's meet at the nearby bazaar first thing tomorrow morning. Elan yung banner mo. Have a great night. It's a deal. Good night, Dunyar's art. I may be too excited to fall asleep tonight. See you tomorrow. Paimon started to really look forward to the Sub Zero Festival, too. Uh, Maybe don't get your hopes up. Food? Oh, no, no. Thinking about food is just gonna keep Paimon up all night. The earlier we sleep, the better. Let's go inside, traveler. Go meet Dunyarzad right away. Traveler, Paimon, I've been waiting for you two. Good morning, Dunyarzad. We must have overslept a little bit. <laughs> Not at all. I arrived early. 
Today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. You've worked so hard for this day. You've got to enjoy it to the fullest. <laughs> you know it. Oh, it's just that, um, as expected, I had some trouble falling asleep last night. I'm hoping my body won't be too much of an issue today. Well, but shall we? Let's start with the stalls over there. Many Wait, vendors came out of the time. blue to support the event, and they insisted on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. They paid for everything out of pocket? Oh, sounds like they're not in this just for the Mora. <laughs> they all said that contributing to a lively festival atmosphere is more important than money. Especially since we don't often get to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Ooh, they're selling food over that way! Let's go take a look! I'm on. This is a stall offering foods from the Haft Mewa feast. Oh, you could tell straight away. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. Mushrooms, flowers, and all kind of fruit? It's all vegetarian stuff. Oh, Paimon's a little disappointed. Eat your greens, Paimon. So, what's the Haft Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's another sub festival tradition. People used to set their tables with seven different foods. Ooh. Generally speaking, the most common selections were foods like Rukushifa mushrooms, lunar lotuses, Sumero roses, sunsetias, capulatas, fruits, and zaytun peaches. So, the sub festival is a vegetarian holiday? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy the spread. We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Seven virtues. Wait, but if that's the case, if Sumero uses vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon, then wouldn't the Pyro Archon's festival be full of food huh. like roasted fowl, juicy meatballs, grilled steak? Oh, Traveler, we have to go to Natlan as soon as possible! Oh, Natlan reference! <laughs> <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Paimon. Sorry, Paimon. Fontaine muna tayo after that. Thanks! Alright, how about we also check out some of these other stalls? Dear customers, would you like to try your hand at alchemical divination? Alchemical divination? What's alchemical divination? Those two things sound like they'd be fun to try together. Albedo would like to talk to you. Right? I thought the same when I first heard about it. It is said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other than Lesser Lord Kusanali herself. Really? So, how does it work? It's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. Are you sure that's safe? Sure sounds random. So random that it will probably fail. That is precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, your one and only diviner here will interpret the remnants. Well, according Mind to Lesser Lord Kusanali... Uh, Alright, we'll get there. Chill lang kayo. Alright, no spoilers. You could say this is a pearl of old wisdom. According to Lesser Lord Kusanali, everything is interconnected and all that occurs can be traced back to faith. Why does everything sound so much more credible when Dunya Azad says it? Are you guys working together? So that's the true wisdom behind it. This young lady sure knows her stuff. So, how about it? Want to give it a try? Alright, I guess I can give it a go. Uh, let's see, what do we want? Let's take something from... The... So, sana, ano? Monstat la. Is there anything monster na no puro pang diwi na hindi? Ano, this one. Small Lapras. Then I'll take something from Sumero. Maybe a rose. Okay, one moment. 
Hmm. It's the moon. The moon? Paimon wants to take a look too. Uh, is it? It looks more like a pie that Paimon bit into. They're just hungry. Hmm. Generally speaking, the moon signifies. It means. Uh, wait a moment. <laughs> is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, I remember now. It means illusions and lies. Excuse me? Illusions and lies? That sounds rather ominous. Yes, but this book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. He's not even trying to hide his book anymore. Naturally, fate will only ever show you the beginning of a journey. It is up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> uh. Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. They say the sub Zeros festival was very lively a long, long time ago. Large flower carriages used to parade through the city. As they headed towards Port Ormos, people would throw flowers, candy, and liquor all along the way. Dunyarzad's eyes are sparkling right now. Oh, I wish I could have seen that spectacle. But if you ask me, I'm sure Nilu's dance of Subzeros will be just as impressive. Attention! Soldiers, fall into formation if you want any Yalda candies. Yalda candies? It's a weird guy with a weird hat! I want candy. <laughs> hey, it's two years on! Wow! That's Shanley! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Dunya, it looks like Shangli. Children love you even more than the Yalda candies. In the few short days it took to prepare for the Sabzerus festival, the children have all grown very fond of you. Uh, um, the hallowed night of flowers. It's an honor that you know my name. <clears throat> Attention! In the name of Ferris, the night of flowers, I commend you on your contributions to the glorious Sabzerus festival. Sabzerus. All right, little soldiers. Take your Yalta candies and don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismiss! Yes, Knight Ferris! Uh, just what is going on here? <laughs> Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another sub festival icon and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the actor portraying Ferris would also sit on a flower carriage. It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can make such wonderful memories today. As are we to you, Vihar. <laughs> oh, not at all. Oh, speaking of tradition, do you want some Yalta candies? Yes, a please. Festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes readied here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Whichever one? Um, the blue one. Don't these boxes all look the same? <laughs> that is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Ooh, those all sound pretty good. And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. What? Huh? What's up with those two flavors? Oni kabuto is a little spicier than lizard tail. You have oni kabutos here? Tanyarzad, you tried them before? Paimon wants the Sensetia flavor. Uh, I thought I'll be able to get the exact flavor you want. Don't blame me if I choose the wrong one. It's alright. Paimon believes in you. I also believe in your intuition. Great. These boxes of candy are numbered 1 to 5 from left to right. Which one do you want? Uh, I'm done. 1 to 5 left to right. So 1, 2. Then three, four, five. Let's go with two. 
Oh wait, that's not two. I want the blue one. Is it three? Oh wait, it's one. Okay. Attention! That's unfortunately God limited. damn it! Oh, I never thought you survived so many epic battles because you had a beautiful look. But looks like Paimon was wrong. The Sunsetia flavored candy was in box number four. How about this? The most important thing is that everyone has a good time at the festival. So please, take both boxes. Oh. Really? Thanks a lot, Knight of Candies! It's Knight of Flowers, not Knight of Candies. Knight of Cake. <laughs> Paimon really wilted the carriageless Knight of Flowers. They all basically sound the same. We got our candy, so let's keep going. Alright. Oh, uh, actually, I just remembered that I left something behind. Um, since you're here, can you come with me to get it? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Junior Zod, you probably forgot because you're so excited about the Sub Zero's festival. Ah, <laughs> uh, how embarrassing. Too late. Who knew the little lady was such an early riser? Oh. I know, right? Hey, wait a minute. Toss. Isn't that her? Oh, that most certainly is. We're in luck. She's walking right into our clutches. Oh, great. Those Eremites don't look like they're up to any good. Who are you? I don't believe the Homayamis hired you. <laughs> That's right. We haven't received any of their mora, but I wonder how much the Homayamis would shell out to get you back. Guy, let's not do this. They're a gang of kidnappers! Traveler, hurry and protect Junior's on! <laughs> Professional here, ready to go. Hey, did you scumbags even consider that the Homayamis oh. might have hired a merc that outclasses you? Your dear. Dear the Flame Mane. The Flame Mane. No we mercs haven't heard anything about you for so long. That's a cool title. You sold your unruly mane to the highest bidder. Don't speak so disrespectfully. My family started working with her as gratitude for her past kindness to us. Don't worry about it, my lady. Just some friendly banter between mercs. One punch and those rabid dogs will expose themselves for what they really are. <laughs> Aren't your claws all dull by now? Don't get too cocky. Guy, uh, let's not do this. Traveler, take Miss Junior Zod to a safe location. No, we're gonna stay and help. There's too many of them. I didn't guarantee I don't want to see people. You're right. All right, fine. Please be careful, Dia. Don't waste your time worrying about me. This is my job. Look out for yourself. After I've wiped the floor with them, I'll go find you all. Wait, money? <laughs> oh, are you okay? Dinyarzad, are you okay? You look a little pale. Are you in shock? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. My body always reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. You sure you're okay? I'll be fine after some rest. I'm more worried about Dia. After all, none of this would have happened if I hadn't insisted on coming out today. Yeah, don't worry, she's still. Yeah, don't worry. My lady, traveler, found ya. Dia! You took care of them so fast! Any more of them? Or rather, did anyone follow you? No, I just checked. Yeah, your arm. Oh. Oh, this? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Normally, they wouldn't have been able to land a hit on me at all, but 
I'm still getting used to this new greatsword. Please, let me take a closer look. Come on, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as fragile as you think. Just got a point. Hold on, you said something about a new greatsword. Uh, what happened to the one you were using before? Uh, about that. Well, I sold it, because I was low on Mora. Stuff like this happens every now and then. Wait, aren't you getting paid for being a bodyguard? It can't be. The anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of preparations? Oh. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> Hey, Miss Dunyarzad, I wasn't trying to make you cry, and I'm not gonna lose my commission because I made my employer cry, am I? <laughs> okay, making your employer cry won't affect your commission, but selling your weapon without permission and getting hurt? I'll have to reevaluate your performance. <laughs> You're so unreasonable, my lady. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dia. Don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. <laughs> Are you feeling unwell again, Dunyarzad? My lady, your condition. Traveler, can you take her somewhere to rest? I'll look around the area to make sure we're safe from an ambush. Damn those thighs, though. Leave it to me. Truly. I'm sorry for the trouble, everyone. Spin crystal. Sana Sumero music though. Oh my god, I would love to have Sumero music on my Pipon. Are you feeling better, Dinyarzad? Yes, much better. Just give me a few moments and I'll be good to go. I didn't realize you were concerned about it. I guess I shouldn't continue to keep it a secret. I was actually... Yup, I knew it! It's terminal now. Can't believe it's Elazar! I knew it. Oh, uh, you've already heard of Elazar. In that case, you probably know about its severity. Sumero's current medical advancements still haven't been able to find a cure. The disease's progression can only be delayed through environmental therapy. Dinyarzad. There's no need to be sad. I've always lived with Elazar and I came to terms with it a long time ago. Compared to the simple fact that I'm afflicted with this, its effects on my life have been much more painful. I know that my family loves me dearly. They've done all they can to provide the best environment for me so that I can live for that much longer. However, I know I will one day succumb to this. Did you know? Before I ran away from home this time, the world outside of my home didn't even know that I existed. Since I was a child, all I could do was sit on my bed and stare at everything outside of my window. I'm sure my family's worried and disappointed in me for running away, but I... I just didn't want to have any regrets. I wanted to meet other people. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than being able to meet and speak with others. Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival. The joy on everyone's faces here. And all the support I've received from friends like Dia. This way. When my final day does arrive, it will be less sorrowful. At the very least, many people will remember that I once existed in this world. Right? Uh, as long as you don't forget Paimon, Paimon also won't forget about you. Uh, no, even if you forget Paimon, Paimon will still remember you. <laughs> oh, thank you too. Oh so my god, that sunset. I apologize it's so for the perfect. depressing conversation. This is, this is out of character for me. That sunset is so perfect. To be honest, Lesser Lord Kusanali gave me the courage to do all of this. If it weren't for her encouragement, I wouldn't have taken that first step. Probably? I would think she can cure it with enough time. 
since bata pa ako siko sa knowledge, maybe yun nga. Like literally, I'm not strong enough kasi nga bata pa siya, so wala pa siyang experience. Thanks. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. Oh, right. Isn't it almost time? Huh? Almost time for what? Isn't the dance of sub about to begin? It's the part of the festival that I've been looking forward to the most. Nilu will recreate that legendary scene with her most splendid dancing. And the sub festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessings. And with that, my wish will also... Yeah. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go to the stage! Yeah, we should still make well, it in time. Well, regarding Kole, he medyo... I mean, based on the manga, medyo hindi maganda yung nangyari sa kanya. Or yung mga experiences niya. Medyo unfortunate. Not sure kung ia-adopt nila yun dito. But we'll see. Oh, there's the sages. Were you not aware that the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission? Over there! Someone's yelling at Milu! I think I just saw the Academia's Grand Sage. Why is he here in person? But the dance of sub is one of the key parts of the sub Festival. If we can't perform it... The sub Festival... The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Only the Academia can host such an event. That's bullshit. If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? The Academia was originally responsible for the sub Festival. But they failed this responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. Yeah, of course they're hand too much the situation. This is a hard pill to swallow, but you're right. Things would only get worse. I hate those hippies. Art, dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? Uh, first of all, fuck you, sir. <laughs> Art and dance is not frivolous and meaningless, all right? Our Archon created the utopia that is Sumeru City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. No. I believe that our Archon never rejected the arts. Even the Goddess of Flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. I'ma cut you up if I get the chance. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Hmm. The sub Zeru's Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Nilu, are you okay? Oh, Dunyarzad. You all saw that just now? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Yeah. Let's go somewhere the Academia can't find us and perform there. Uh, but how do we let everyone know? And what about the atmosphere on the stage? Or, we could get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Ah, no. They just threatened to investigate the organizers. If we were caught... Nilu, it's alright. Don't worry about it. But you've been looking forward to the Dance of sub so much. And I know how important this festival is to you. I don't want you to have any regrets. It's okay. Seeing you care this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue the sub Festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. If you say so. 
But you can sneak out for the next Sub Zero's festival, right? We'll make sure the next one is a smashing success. <sighs> the next one. I don't think she can make the next one. Yes. Okay. It's a promise. It will be a smashing success. Oh. I can't believe this is how things turned out. Those heartless geezers. It really is okay. There's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> Still, I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilo's dance. Ah, God damn. It's fine, it's just... <sighs> A lot happened today. It's a shame the festival ended the way it did. Nilo and Dunyarzad promised to make the next of Zero's festival a success, but Dunyarzad is running out of time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. oh. Money. All connections have been secured to construct the most stable framework possible. What? is under its most critical phase. Power has begun to flow from. No, 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 no. You, you can't do that game. You can't. Do that to me. You can't do that to me. Uh, good morning, Dinarzad. Sorry we're late. <laughs> Not at all. I arrived early. Uh, Nani? Uh, you seem kinda tired. Did you not get enough sleep? I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Uh, what? This is some back to the future shit. Ah, uh, hello? What the fuck is happening? They're selling food over that way. Let's go take a look. I'm confused. I am beyond confused. What? This is a stall offering foods from the Huffed Mewa Feast. Yes, I heard you say that 30 minutes ago. You are quite well informed, miss. I heard I you say that as well 30 minutes ago. Know. They're all plants! Oh, Paimon's a little disappointed. Actually, what is the Huffed Mewa Feast you mentioned just now? It's one of the sub Festival's traditions. People used to set their tables with seven different foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archive. Yes, something feels really familiar. ...appear to be in the form of the moon. Really? I thought it looked like some kind of food. Wait, what did he say? Hmm... The moon signifies... Hmm... It's escaping me for now. What did he say? Wait a moment. Is he really looking it up in a book? Illusions oh, and lies. Right. <laughs> right. It means illusions and lies. But if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. Yeah, it's like the greatest deja vu. Understood. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. I'm confused right now. Oh, 
All yep. right, soldiers. Now that you have your Yalta candies, don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed. Yes, Knight Ferris. What's going on? Is this a play? Ferris, the Knight of Flowers is another sub festival icon and one immensely popular with children. <laughs> it's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can meet the Knight of Flowers. Oh, do you want some Yalta candies? I happen to have some boxes readied here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Uh, what's to pick? Don't these boxes all look the same? <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains... Ooh, I know that already. Interesting. And there's also Lizard Tail and Oni Kabuto. Oh, why are those... Traveler, help! Right. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five. Ah, excellently chosen. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. Yep, that was not luck, because I know it. <laughs> huh. I don't know why, but it knew it was that number four. Huh? How's that possible? It's obviously random. Why do I keep having this sense of deja vu? Maybe we didn't sleep very well last night. Or maybe we slept too much. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Dunyan Zord, but I need to leave for a moment. Oh. Sure. Huh? Where are you going? You're just gonna walk off like that? Yes. Because there's a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> okay, let's see. Deja vu? Deja vu. Oh, Paimon knows what that is. It's when you feel like you've already experienced whatever is going on. Yep. In that case, Paimon also felt something like that today. But that's just our brains playing tricks on us. Actually, isn't no. It? So, why'd you run here in such a hurry? Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that makes so sense. That's it. You're intentionally doing things you usually wouldn't and seeing if you still get that same feeling of deja vu. Welcome, you two. Are you here for lunch? What would you like to eat? Yeah, one coconut charcoal cake. Got yes. it. You don't look like you're from these parts, but I gotta say, you've got good taste. <laughs> I'll give this order to the kitchen. Coconut charcoal cake? Isn't it that... That burn thing that didn't look tasty at all? Oh, Paimon understands what you're trying to do now. You'd never normally order something like this. That looks good, though. That thing? Are you really going to eat it? It looks good. Uh, isn't this going a bit too far? Here goes. Ah, uh, <laughs> the fuck is that expression? How, how was it? The look on your face is telling Paimon that it tasted awful. No, it actually tasted really good. Then, you mean... I've definitely eaten this before. That's impossible! We were just talking about how gross it looked! So, would this be a case of taste bud deja vu? Taste bud deja vu. Looks like I tried this before. Paimon also gets the impression that we've been here many times, even though we are regulars. Um, how about we go out again and try something else? It's weird. What's the bird? Hey, Junior's out is sitting by herself on that bench over there. What a coincidence, Junior. 
Shinyarzad. We meet again. Uh, why are you sitting here all by yourself? Oh, I ran into some kidnappers just now. And thankfully, Dia came to my rescue. I don't need to know. This is very sumero. Onti palang. I sat down here. I saw it, but it's only a little. I don't know how much I saw it. Kidnappers? Oh my goodness, are you hurt? I'm okay. Dia's arm got scratched, but it isn't serious. That's a big relief. But, Dunyarzad, you seem a little down today. It's the Subzerus Festival, and you've been looking forward to it so much! Not at all. I've always been like this. Excessive physical exertion or strong emotions tend to aggravate my illness. Besides, no matter how amazing today may be, it is but a single day. After however many more days, my time will come to an end. Paimon doesn't quite follow you, and Paimon feels like something's really got you down right now. Bruh! That's a massive map. Jesus Christ. One massive map, Jesus. <laughs> it really is fine. I don't mind. Huh? Did something happen? Junior thought, have you ever felt deja vu? You know, like when you've already experienced something that's happening right now? Deja vu? No. But my days have been the same for years now. Even if I were feeling deja vu, I suppose I would already be used to it. Oh, Paimon sees. Then, is it only the two of us? I don't think so. It's almost time. Huh? Time for what? Nilu's Dance of Subzerus is about to begin. Uh, let's go. Yeah, it's gonna get cancelled. I've seen it. So same. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will publicly announce it later through the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Mm. The Subzerus Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. I hate you. Sage ordered us to stop the performance. It's okay. There's nothing we can do about it. But you've been really looking forward to this. I don't want you to have any regrets. <laughs> Full exclusive for good to know. Oh my god. Hello, hello. What a time for exploration. I don't want to cause trouble for anyone. Didn't the Grand Sage say that he might investigate the organizers? True, but. Uh... Well, okay. We'll just have to try again next year. The next festival. I probably won't be around by then. Wait. What did you just say? I didn't have to No, nothing. I'll be heading back to rest. Wait, ano pa tayo? Thank you for your help, everyone. May 2.0 update pa sa POF. Yung Vera. Malaki na laki din yun. For some reason, I felt like this outcome was inevitable. Ah! Did Dunyarzad already go back? We should also return and get some sleep. Don't tell me, babalik na naman tayo. So, in the end, you still couldn't figure out what that deja 
Yavu feeling was all about? Hmm. Maybe it really was because of exhaustion. Oh, someone feeling. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling pretty groggy. Same here. That's why Paimon stopped thinking about it halfway through the day. Gosh. Then, how about we settle in and get a good night's sleep? Oh. Uh. Well, we can chalk things up to exhaustion. We can do more thinking tomorrow. What's a squirrel doing there? Observing a modest drop in the output of Niana energy, but values still remain within normal parameters. Who's talking? I think those are the sages, right? Continue to monitor the variance in things and find the cause as soon as possible. Is that the Tori? I arrived early. Yes, I've heard you. Huh? I don't think you sound kind of tired. Did you not get enough sleep? <laughs> I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Uh, shall we go? Yeah, she sounds tired each time. Over there. You first time made you excited, Bashe. Thanks to Miss Junior Zod's sponsorship that the children can enjoy the Sub Zero's festival. Oh, are you interested in Yalda candies? I have some. Hmm. No. <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a random. Mm -hmm. And there's also lizard. Huh? What were... mm. No problem. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? <laughs> Number for the lot, but... Oh, I like your confidence. No hesitation at all. Oh, congratulations. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. What the hell is happening? Number one is lizard tail. Paimon's not really interested in the other flavors. Ah, w uh, wait. How did you know? Don't tell me that you already knew which flavor was in each box. What? He was right about all of them? That couldn't have been luck. How? How is this possible? I packed all those boxes this morning, and they've been sealed ever since. You couldn't have known beforehand. Mind reading? X-ray vision? Or some kind of magic trick? This is way too freaky. Tell us what's going on! Since when did you get superpowers? Traveler? Uh, hello? Uh, uh. Hey, where are you Hello? Playing? You can't do that. You can't just show up in front of me and just suddenly disappear. Yeah, I fucking saw the dental art on. There she is. Clee! <laughs> Come back here, you child! Come back here, child. Where the fuck are you? There she is.
It's a bird. What are you looking for? Why did we come here? Over with sense of deja vu. Traveler? Child? Hello, Nahida. Yeah, you're definitely the ventral archon. This isn't your first of Zero's festival, don't you? Alert! <laughs> What's the alert? I'm sure you already know how to use this. Oh! Wait, it's a gold one. It's gold now. A knowledge capsule? Where did you get it? What's inside? You should use it too, Paimon. Uh, you, you know Paimon? Yeah, we've talked before. But Paimon feels like this is what we should do. Oh, what the? So many days worth of memories. Our twentieth time at the Sub Zero. Oh, excuse me. That smile, though. That smile. <laughs> what the heck was inside that knowledge capsule? Hmm. Your memories are still scrambled? Try your best to remember. This isn't the first time we've met, and I answered that question a long time ago. Uh, let Paimon think. Oh, it's coming back. Meeting you was the real catalyst for restoring our memories, and the knowledge capsule was just your means of showing our minds the way. Uh, what about everyone else? Why are you only helping the two of us? Your sense of deja vu is stronger than everyone else's, yes? As for an explanation, you two received the blessing of Dendro, and you also have special sensitive constitutions. It was as if a single sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. Fuck. Wait, look.
Sorry. May quick emergency lang, but we're good. We should be good. Sorry about that. So wala to din pala. Tip ni Narita. Yeah, that's true. All right. Uh it was as if a shingle sheet of paper was separating those memories from her consciousness. Okay. What's wrong with the Dunyars are over there? A familiar question. I think this is the seventh time you asked that. As you can see, she isn't doing well. You probably sensed it too. The Dunyarzad you were just with is different from the first Dunyarzad you met. That first Dunyarzad is in front of you right now and... She doesn't have a lot of time left. Uh, what do I need to do right now is break out of this cycle. How though? My internet is stopping up. Okay, <laughs> Looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. Oh yeah, I'm Nahida. Nahida? Good. You passed the test. What's happening? You can awaken our memories, and you seem like you know what's going on. Oh, wait. Please don't tell time and even you don't know. Everything in this world runs in a loop. This cycle Sums. is called the samsara. You, me, and everyone else are all stuck inside the one-day samsara. Samsara? As for the truth, that's on you to find out. I think that's if like you were told in Indian mythology it yourselves, it would literally or culture rather, mind. I think. I don't know how you'd be after that. I can only give you surface level help. Like the Samsara Festival? And subtle hints. For the rest of the time, I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyarzad's illness. She looks like she isn't doing well at all. Illness gets worse after each Sub Zero's festival. Oh, kailangan natin kailangan matuloy yung Sub Zero's festival. If we can break out of the Samsara, I might be able to save her. Yeah, yeah, good. Cycle of life and death. Go Alright, thank you for that. Right now, she's just a small bird in the sky that's about to lose its last feathers. <laughs> All I can do is raise a gale to delay her fall. You sure love to use weird analogies. <laughs> <laughs> Analogies are wonderful tools. They let you use existing knowledge to understand and familiar things. Yeah, so it's like a cycle. Okay, so with what you know so far, what do you think the truth is? Uh I don't know. That I've been streaming for five and a half hours now. <laughs> let me collect my thoughts. Oh shit! When you enter a state of contemplation, you can choose any text entry to interpret it. This interpretation process involves analysis of the text entry and the yield new entries. Once interpreted, you may submit that text as a conclusion. Some text entries can be associated with one another once interpreted. Select associate to choose the other text entry, then select trigger association. You can gain new text entries by performing accurate associations. If one of the text entries on the current page can be used as a conclusion, then select that entry before choosing Submit Conclusion. Uh, interpret. We've already experienced the sub Festival many times. Oh! Voice line! The, the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. Voice line! Oh my god. How I would love to have Lumi now. Oh shit. Uh the moon illusions and lies. What do they all mean? The grand sage said, "Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content." Did he mean something more? Hmm. 
I can't seem to cohesively piece everything together. Hmm. Time. That should be it. And the flow of time is endlessly cycling within one single day. What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. What happens if I summon? That doesn't sound right. I need to carefully think things through. The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the moon, illusions, and lies. What do they all mean? A time loop. You've given similar wrong answers in the past. A pity. Still the wrong answer? Paimon thought that made a lot of sense. It feels like time's just repeating itself. I don't think that's the case. A simple time loop can't explain some of the phenomena. Yeah. You two are still missing a lot of information. Unfortunately, I can't give you any more hints. <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> Junior is odd. The Subzeris Festival is happening every day, but that doesn't mean we can waste an infinite amount of them. Hurry, and find the truth before today's festival ends. Okay. Let's think about our current situation. To save Dunyarzad, we have to escape the Samsara of the Subzeru's festival. And to do that, we need to figure out what's happening. The truth. Nahida rejected the idea of a time loop, so... We must have missed something, right? Yeah, if it's a time loop, walang magbabago. Paulit-ulit lang talaga siya. It's not just simple as a time loop. Iba yung klase yung nangyayari dito. I remember you say that we've already done this many times, but let's go talk to people again. It's more productive than sitting here and scratching our heads. Alright, let's see what we can do. expect na may mga kakakampay ng back to the future bullshit dito. Alright, I'm out. Hey, it's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? She... Uh, she's feeling a little unwell. I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. I harvested them from the forest just yesterday. You ever felt like you were living the same huh? day? What brought this about? I hurried back from the forest yesterday, and I'm selling protos here today. I haven't felt anything strange. Um, to put it another way, if you really, really think about it, was yesterday truly yesterday? Did you actually come back from the forest yesterday? What kind of philosophical nonsense is this? Are you two daydreaming? Didn't you know that no one dreams in Sumeru? Go somewhere else if you want to find someone to daydream with. <laughs> I forgot about that phrase. Wait long. Can you... Jericho. Yeah, I forgot about that phrase. That no one dreams in Sumeru. Oh, 
My brain cells. I almost named brain cells. Go. All right, Kinia. What do you want? What do you have for me? Walk with oh, me. Talk with me. You two. Was my divination so accurate that you felt compelled to compliment me in person? To be honest, yes. We actually did run into sewage into a situation, but I'm not sure if it's related to your divination. Ooh, I knew it! I told you, the god's divination is highly accurate. You just hadn't fully understood its significance yet. <laughs> You're really excited about this, huh? That's exactly why we came back. Help us better understand it! Uh... Help you better understand it? W well <laughs> that isn't exactly what I excel at. Come on, man. So, you're admitting that you don't have a clue? Anyway, what kind of situation did you get into? Uh, we're all trapped in the same day of sub -Zero's festival. You've actually divined our fortune many, many times. Huh? Uh, hold on a second. I thought you guys just lost your wallet or, or fell for a scam. What you just said... Are you serious? Does that kind of thing actually happen in real life? It's happening right now. I knew you weren't going to believe it. Marvelous. Truly marvelous. I believe you. Recall the interpretation of your divination. The moon. Illusions and lies. And lies. It really felt like an omen. When you say it like that, the divination does sound like it's related to what's going on. Can you read any more into it? I believe that the Archon's revelations are never more than vague hints. Anything more specific is beyond the reach of mere mortals. The book only says if you trust your instincts and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. So that's how it is. Looks like fortune telling is just fortune telling. It's no good for practical problems. We haven't made any progress. Who else can we talk to? Oh, uh, Daya. Hmm. Paima remembers that we tried talking to her a couple of times, but she always thinks we're playing pranks on her. You think she'll brush us off again? I mean... Yeah, if we tap into Dia's strong sense of responsibility as a mercenary, then she'll definitely take us seriously. Hmm, at this time of day, Dia's probably just finished beating up those kidnappers. Let's go find her. What's this? Hey, dear. I'm fine, my lady. It's just a scratch. Perfect timing. Both of you are here. Paimon, traveler, you came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous. Yes, day. I know. I know. Yo, Lawrence. Good evening. What's up? <laughs> yeah, five hours later, galor pa rin ng Genshin or conquest. Again, a kidnapper. Huh? You saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? <laughs> if someone was protecting Miss Dunyar's odd, I could have went all out. <sighs> anyway, can you do something for me? You want the traveler to take Dunyar's odd somewhere to rest up while you check to see if there's still any kidnappers around. Did Paimon get that right? <laughs> How did you know what I was going to say? Yeah, because we've heard you like uh, 50 times already. We need to say something convincing. Uh... Wait, okay. Uh, let's see. Dea's Claymore? Dia sold her greatsword to raise additional funds. And then she was injured because she wasn't used to her new weapon. Yo, Lawrence, thank you for that share, my guy. I appreciate it. I know that was something. Dia sold, sold her greatsword to raise additional funds. And then she was injured because she wasn't used to her new weapon. Yeah, this seems like a good line, right? 
Yeah, you got injured because you aren't used to your current great sword. You sold your great sword to support the best. I didn't tell anyone about that, including Miss Dunyarzad. You couldn't have known. And just now, you literally took the words <laughs> right out of my mouth. What's going on? I'm a type, Geragalo. All right, so this is the situation. Kinda hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear. Most of us desert dwellers might not be the scholarly type, but we do have basic common sense. Uh, haven't you noticed something off about Dunyarzad? She's quieter than usual. Uninterested in anything? Ano anime lalabas pa? Uh, Thursday. What is Thursday day? Actually, I have no idea. Black Summoner? I think. I don't remember. Yeah, she isn't the same as before. I can but... actually check it on the anime site. Her parents said that this is how she was like at first. Schedule. Huh? At first? I don't quite understand what you're all talking about. I'll go rest on the bench over there. Oh, uh, I know. Devil is a part timer season two and uh, Yakuza's guide to babysitting. My lady, are you angry? All right. Yeah, Call of the Night as well. Pero two thirty pa yun. Let's make this a quick trip. Di ko inaantay. Di ano araw? Pinapanood ko siya bukas na eh. Yeah, Danmachi as well. Though, hindi ko pa kasi pinapanood yung Danmachi. So, kaya hindi ko yung group. Ganda nung ano eh. Ganda nung intro... Uh, Atag dito? Introduction ng mga ibang vampires eh. Sa ano. Yung la latest episode ngayon. No? Call of the Night. Nahida. Nahida, we brought a friend. Are you busy? I thought I told you that it won't help to bring anyone here. Hey. We just wanted her to see the real Dunyarzad's condition. The real Dunyarzad? Uh, where and who are you talking to? Poor love, but okay. Huh? Oh, did you not get to see Nahida? I told you that you two are special. Other people can't see me or Miss Dunyarzad here. Wait, maybe that's why ang iniisip ng tao is hindi siya nagme-make ng appearance kasi hindi siya nakikita or like mga purposely na hindi siya nagpapakita sa ibang tao. Ice, so. Hold on. Over there. Is that? Wait, you can see her? Wow. How perceptive. Antenna. Does she have invisible antennae? Antenna? Miss Dunyarzad, she's she's lying down here, isn't she? How's she doing? How can she tell? Her condition's really bad. And she's basically in a coma. How did you know she was here? I can sense her aura. I... There are also lingering feelings of something like regret or... I'm about to get my heart, right, all right. What happened? Do you believe us now? The sub -Zero's festival has been repeating itself. So, you think the sages are behind this? My brain is trying to keep up with this fucking story. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, they've always been against us. Wouldn't surprise me if they're using the Akasha to intentionally repeat the Subzerus festival as a sick joke. They can do that? You have a point. Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Academia Sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. How the fuck they can do that? Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know. 
Uh, Nahida, can you tell us anything about the Akasha? Right! Didn't you awaken our memories using something that looked like a knowledge capsule? That means you must know something about the Akasha! The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Okay. A Gnosis can do that? No wonder the Akasha is so magical. Yeah, it's being powered by the Gnosis. Powered by the so. Gnosis of Sumeru's Archon. So, uh, this Nahida you mentioned, what did she say? She said hi. <laughs> she said, and Paimon quotes, The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. <laughs> compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people. Mm, wait. What's up? I get the grants knowledge part. That's what people have always used the Akasha for. But compiling the entire populace's wisdom? How does that work? Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? Most information the, the Akasha comes from their soul. Oh, yeah. That sounds about right. What do you think? Copy by one, can I? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. My brain is not programmed. For this, okay. Okay. Information on uh, the Akasha. Okay. Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. What the fuck is that? People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. That doesn't sound right. You mean the Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Huh. Now that I think about it, my head's been feeling unusually heavy. What if the sages are like Stealing people's dreams. When the desert dwellers set off on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said, Knowledge always comes at a price. Compiling the entire country's knowledge. You think the Akasha pulled a 180 and is extracting information from us? <laughs> the Akasha pulled a 180. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and extracting information from us. Yes, that is highly possible. Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so who's to say that it can't also poke around in there? We don't know any specifics. What's the point of doing something like that? Knowledge is power. Just think about it. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, yeah. then you can basically turn Sumeru City into a single massive brain. Then yung knowledge na meron sila, nire-restrict nila. This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? I love it. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Gets ko na yung character ni Nahito ngayon. In that case, we should take off our Akasha terminals right away. Maybe that'll solve this problem. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think it'll be that simple. Yeah, I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. 
Mark my words. When this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing to the public. Oops. How does everyone feel? Wait, I'm on the power. Wait, lah. Let's get your ass away. What did you do? I know it's that the sound of a beep. Oh, beep. Yeah. Hyman knows what you're talking about. It's a single soft beep that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha terminal. The sound of a beep. Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? Hmm. I heard the same sound in Port Ormos. That's probably an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard the beep anyway. <laughs> Did you hear that? Alin, hindi I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. We took off our Akasha terminals. Yeah, it's the fucking sages. But we cannot lose all of our progress. Maybe they're experimenting time travel in order for Ruka Devata to come back to Sumeru. Going back again. <laughs> no, Junior Zad. Kailangan mo ng biogenic either. Paima remembers everything. <laughs> Good. You adapted quickly this time. At the end of last we night. We took off our Akasha terminals last night, but we still heard that beep. Why is that? Yeah, we failed at severing our connections with them. But now we can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? It's extremely difficult for lab rats in an experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. If we're lab rats, then what are you? Nahida, you've never told us anything about yourself. Hmm. I'm the moon. I guess I'm the moon. The moon? Wasn't that the result of our divination? Anyway, knowing who I am won't help you get closer to the truth. So you should focus on other things. Don't get distracted and miss any clues. <sighs> okay then. Do you help? I don't have Klee. I wish I had. So I would have had Klee. Correctly, those kidnappers should be showing up soon. I wish I had Kali. Ah, there you are. I've already taken care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? Hold on, something's not right. Huh? Dia? What's wrong? 
Why are you both gawking at me like that? Okay, different results. You, you didn't get hurt this time. This time? Huh? What do you mean this time? Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. Shh! How did you know about my greatsword? I haven't told anyone about it. Please, don't tell Miss Doonerzad. So Tia's lost her memories after all. Uh, during your battle, did anything feel strange? Anything strange? You already know that I got a new greatsword. Hmm, if I had to say something, it's weird how such a new weapon could feel so familiar. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Since she's reliving the same events over and over and over again. Like subconsciously It's as if I've already used it to fight a countless number of battles. Yep, makes sense. You're saying that although you don't remember using it, your body feels like it does? That's right. Both mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. Only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. Traveler, what do you think? Yeah, this has never happened before. Yeah! Paimon's feeling really hopeful! I don't think so. Oh, you're right! Earlier in the Samsara, something like this would have never happened! I don't think so. I have no clue what you two are talking about, but it's still dangerous here, so... So you want us to take Dunyarzad somewhere else to rest while you check if there are still more kidnappers around, right? How did you know what I was gonna say? Can you read minds? Uh, something like that. Uh, uh, forget it. Go and do your thing. I got it in a month. The game is making me feel dumb. Whew. It's finally night time. Aside from Dia not getting injured, everything seems to have stayed the same. Hmm. Listen, Nahida, we found out that Dia got out just fine today, even though she got injured every other time she fought the kidnappers. Do you think the Samsara has been broken? Have we saved Dunyarzad? Mm, nope. Really? Good job on all that progress. Get some good sleep tonight. Hey, what kind of an answer is that? Tomorrow will come. Everyone assumes this is common knowledge, but the only way you can know that for sure is if you experience tomorrow. Yep. How many todays has it been? Is it possible that today will be followed by yesterday? Does tomorrow truly exist as anything beyond a made-up concept? Damn, they destroying philosophical terms at me. It's even possible that this entire world is a lie, and the history of the whole world has just been one Endless of Zero's festival. Uh, what? Okay, okay, no more. Paimon's brain is already shut down. That was a weird statement. <laughs> That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. It's true. Get some good rest. You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety to key away. Huh? Hold on, what did you just say? I'm... Huh? People always say they feel a sense of relief after they take a duke duke. That's why I suggested you could try that. Is that so strange? Uh, it's so strange and so against common sense that... Paimon's at a loss for words! You were sounding kind of smart just a minute ago. We are going to get go get some rest. Yeah. Happy and lively at the Sub Zero's festival every day. It feels like it's been a long time since we've really gotten to relax. There's that beep again. Oh my god. Continue those hearts. Compared to what you stand to achieve, these sacrifices are trivial. It's the same day. We're still in the same day. Nahida. You already knew last night that we didn't break out of the Samsara? Why didn't you tell us? <laughs> Would there have been a point? 
You that spent the night with new worries, with tomorrow still out of reach. In that case, you might as well rest within that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often, and I thought it might help you clear your minds. Yeah, he's got a point. Paimon thought the Duke Duke did that! <laughs> the Duke Duke. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Guess you were looking out for us after all. I'm gonna go take a Duke Duke. <laughs> Together, you two have been everything to me. Uh, Paimon's flattered and everything, but maybe you're taking things a little fast. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? Hmm. Nahida's talking about confusing stuff again. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. So, traveler, did the new clues yesterday help you gain a new understanding of the situation? Uh, yeah, the time loop theory is indeed correct. Huh? Why are you scrapping your previous theory? Uh, the S fighting skills have been improving. Yes. Conditions should also reset. So, what's your new hypothesis? Oh, here we go. Uh, bodily memories. Mercenaries rely heavily on muscle memory, and Dia was able to use her experiences to avoid injury in later Samsara cycles. The Akasha sound. The beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night, even though we removed our Akasha terminals. Uh, hmm. Nope. Hmm. Memories are deleted every day. That's actually... I don't know about that. If all our memories of a day are erased at the end of that day, then we would unwittingly relive the same day again and again. Hmm. We aren't in a time loop. Instead, our memories are being erased at the end of each day. Oh! Then the beep we hear every night could just be indicating the deletion of our memories! That's why when we wake up, everyone thinks the sub -Zero's festival hasn't happened yet. It's already the next day, but everyone still thinks it's the day before. But muscle memory... Yeah, muscle memory can't, can't be, be erased. erased. That's why Dia has been getting better at using her great sword. Now everything makes sense. Hmm, a brilliant deduction. Nahida, tell us if we're right or wrong. To put it simply... It's as if you've mistaken a pyro crystal fly for a firefly in the night. You lost sight of its true nature because you focus too much on your perception that it glows. You lost me. <laughs> that isn't simple at all! Still the wrong conclusion, huh? Yeah. Why don't you go talk to Miss Dia again? You but I think we're getting close. New. Right! She did help us find our latest clue after all. Let's go! All right. This is you are really took me a while to find you as expected dia also didn't get hurt today 
This is what you want, uh, Ryan. Is this what you want? Stress out sa argot pa sa tayo. We built your old taco para dito. God, no, I'm enjoying it though. It's very, very different from all of the Archon quests that we had. Ang pinaka similar nito is yung Archon. I know. Was it an Archon quest? No, 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 no. It wasn't the Archon quest. It was Raiden Shogun's story quest, the second part. Merong parang ano dun eh, di ba? Parang a little bit of time traveling nonsense na nangyari sa Archon quest regarding uh, Makoto and Shogun. Yun yung pinaka closest na karon tayo. Yung pinipilit ka lang tayo ba? Gusto mo ayos this. Well, you're still getting used to your new green sword. Huh. Truth be told, I also think it's pretty strange. It just suddenly felt so familiar in my hands and... Uh, wait a second! How did you know I didn't do so to begin with? I didn't tell anyone about it. Traveler, could you explain the situation to her today? Paimon's gotten a little sick of doing it. Yeah, let's just get straight to the oh, point. that works! You suddenly become proficient with your greatsword because... We've lived through the same day many times already, and our memories of the day are erased every night. What happened to you guys while I was gone? Did you get brainwashed by some cult? Um, don't think too hard about it. Just take what we're saying at face value. All right, then. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that my body's already gotten used to this great sword, but my brain just doesn't remember it? Yep. Yes, your memory's being erased every day. Then I'd have to disagree. That's impossible. Oh? Why do you think that? If we've actually been reliving the Subzerus festival day after day, then what happened to the things we used, the money we spent, the food we ate? Common sense says my wallet should have emptied itself a long time ago. Mm. There's no yep, way I would have noticed that. But if the sages were behind this, they utilized the entire city's resources as well as information supplied by the Akasha. Right! They could use the Akasha to record what everyone did that day, and then use the city's resources to replenish everything! Yeah, I mean, they're willing. It's not very likely, but it's also not impossible. No, it is impossible. I've got proof. You have proof? Where? You two are surprisingly serious about this nonsensical discussion. Fine, I'll play along for a little longer. Come with me, Miss Dunyarzad. Please come along as well. I still can't guarantee that this area is safe. They can expect that we will have impact with the And I wasn't expecting that Lala Basha this early into the story. I expect that we will be out of the desert area when we are in the desert area. This is it. What's this? Training shop. Huh? This is a wooden training dummy. What about it? See those marks on the dummy? Those are the result of several days' worth of practice. Let's say the sages didn't replace it every day. Shouldn't it be hacked to pieces by now? That's true, but what if they did? Then the sages would have had to reproduce every mark I left during previous training sessions. Mm, yep. Yeah. I'm a professional fighter. My martial school has always emphasized the importance of refined control. Yeah, may hirap i-replicate yun kung gano'n. The force, angle, and entry point of each strike is calculated and deliberate. That's why I remember every mark on the dummy, as well as my state of mind as I made each strike. It's just as they say, each swordsman has their own unique style. And even the same swordsman can't make the same cut twice. It would be impossible to copy these marks. Is it really impossible? What if they use some fancy machine to carve every single mark? 
People often say that a camera's photo can never replace an artist's painting because the former has no spirit to it. The same thing applies here. At a mere glance, I can differentiate carved marks from the results of combat training. Mm, that makes sense. Whew. I hope that cleared things up for you. Hey, is this that new brain exercise game that's been super popular with the scholars lately? It's surprisingly fun. What game? Anyway, it's getting late. I should escort Miss Dunyarzad to Nilu's stage. See you later. She's been really quiet throughout. Well, back to square one. Is our memory deletion theory also wrong? I don't think so. It's wrong, but I feel like my connection. some other conclusions in the meantime we're not in the real world yep that's true so can we think of any new ideas right now i suddenly realized that something is strange strange paimon feels like everything's been strange lately yeah how come we've never thought about leaving the city huh? leaving the city you're right it's really strange how we never thought of such a simple solution. Many things should become clear if we can confirm the flow of time outside of the city. Paimon can't believe it. Did we miss this because we're tunnel visioning too hard on our other theories? Or because we're just too tired? We should have thought of this a long time ago. How about we go back and ask Nahida? Maybe we've forgotten something about leaving the city. Oh, my brain. Nahida. Nahida, we're back! You're back early today. Did you find something new? Sort of. We're mostly sure now that we're not in a time loop. And we also aren't in the real world. But at the same time, we have a new question. Have we ever tried leaving the city? Leaving the city. As far as I remember, twice? you mentioned your plans to do that twice before. We did? But we don't remember anything. What happened after we talked about those plans? What did we say when we got back? <sighs> Let me think. I don't think you ever actually told me what the outcome was. Oh, it's probably more accurate to say that both times, you never came back the whole night. But you two sometimes stay out the entire night anyway, so at the time, I didn't think too much about it. It is true that sometimes we lose track of time during our investigations. Before we know it, it'll already be the next day. But still, neither of us remember anything about leaving town. Really? That's kind of strange. In theory, I should have already awakened all your memories. Yep, something here is definitely fishy. Let's get to the bottom of this tomorrow. <sighs> Our memories are back! Uh, about that. Well, where should Paimon begin? What do you mean? Traveler. Aside from your memories that were just restored, I have another message for you. Listen to it and you'll understand. Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzeru's festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. What? Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzeru's festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. What does that mean? Traveler, you should be missing two days worth of memories. Paimon will fill you in. It's time to carry out our plan from yesterday. Okay, let's go.
I get this. Why can't we leave the city? What is the oh. academia up to now? Don't ask me. It's not like I can tell you anything. This is a direct order from the Grand Sage. Just wait until tomorrow. They're not letting anyone out of the city. I have a real emergency. My goods have already arrived at Port Ormos. If I don't hurry, they'll be stolen. That's your problem. Make sure you make a request in advance next time. But, but it's not like you can just predict business matters in advance. <laughs> It looks like the Academia already announced a lockdown for Sumeru City today. How completely unsurprising. Let's go and question them. Hello, sir. Why can't we leave the city today? Here we go again. Don't ask me. I don't know either. We just received an order that no one is allowed to enter or exit Sumeru today. They didn't tell us anything else. Yeah, so the Academia doesn't trust you at all. <laughs> Angering me won't get you anywhere. If I had that kind of insider info, I would have left this stupid post long ago. It looks like he really doesn't know. If we can't get anything out of him, let's take matters into our own hands. Why don't we climb over the walls? Those guards can't be everywhere at once. This is a good spot, and the guard hasn't noticed us at all. Let's hurry! Huh? Why? Are you going to leave Paimon behind? Yeah, we need someone to stay with this events from this side. But, but, what if things get really weird out there and you get into some trouble? Then Paimon won't be able to help you. Oh, Paimon knows that Paimon can't do much, but we've always been together, haven't we? Don't worry, Paimon. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm on wait for you. Promise Paimon that you'll come back as soon as possible. Yes. Just a quick look. And please, be careful. Okay, what happens after that? Uh, memories! Traveler! understood what you were saying. Uh, Paimon doesn't care! Paimon wanted to go look for you, but you also said that Paimon should stay! Paimon was so worried and so scared the entire day! Uh, okay. Paimon will forgive you. The most important thing is that you didn't actually disappear. Paimon was so scared that you had gone into another world! Okay, Paimon, can you tell us your perspective of what really happened yesterday? Hmm, I see. Using two people's different perspectives. After that, you left the city. Paimon kept her eyes on you the whole time, but then you... disappeared in an instant. No way! Paimon was watching you with the fullest attention! What's your perspective, Traveler? You sure you don't have any memory of this? Yes, I don't even know that yesterday existed. I guess that explains everything. You also lost your memories the last two times you tried to leave the city. Those days' memories can't be awoken. So, if we leave the city... Our memories will be completely erased? It really sounds like something big outside of the city is being hidden on purpose. But this way, we'll also never discover what's outside! Our memories will be erased can we be behind something other than memories? A physical object, maybe? Something like a message? But how can we send it back? 
Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not used to being stared at. Well... Okay, okay. You want something that can pass on messages, right? Give me some time and take care of Dunyarzad for me. Yep! Now we're talking! I'm done. Here you go. What? Isn't this just an Akasha terminal? I need some little changes. Akasha terminals are already capable of sending messages. I just tweaked it so that it could connect to any node. To make something like this? Nahida, you really know the Akasha like the back of your hand. Anyway, we can use this now to record a message, right? Yep. <laughs> I'll help you save the messages. It should be pretty easy to use. I just can't guarantee the user's status and signal coverage when they're outside the city. We'll never know until we try. At least we're taking the initiative now. Okay, it's worth a try. Let's go then. Let's expose those sages! Yeah, I still think you should stay. Uh, Alright. Paimon isn't as worried about being separated since it happened once yesterday. But... Paimon still isn't happy about it. Alright, see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow, Traveler. That covers everything that's happened so far. <sighs> yes, although the signal was choppy and had some interference, we still managed to receive two messages from you when you were outside. Okay, now that you understand what's going on, let's hear the messages together. Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. Okay, that's one. I've entered another space. Before me are flowing sandstone and howling fish. Impossible and surreal sights. All these spaces are empty except for the occasional ones that contain mute puppets rather than people. I can't sense any human presence. One heck of an info dump. It sounds like you left the Sumeru city space when you set foot outside of the walls. Like, everything looked completely normal when Paimon was looking out from the inside. That's unbelievable. And if we take your word for it, the other spaces all had very weird contents. There's another part here. We only received it last night. These spaces have been disappearing one after the other, absorbed by something like a sun in the sky. And now, even the final space has also disappeared. Behind me, a lot of spaces just appeared again from thin air. I get it now! Those spaces are actually... No! Probably because yesterday just happened to end at that moment. Oh, right. Paimon did hear a beep from the Akasha. Did it come from here or from the message? The message. It should have come from the Traveler's Akasha Terminal. After the beep, Traveler said even the final space has also disappeared. <sighs> Traveler, what do you think that final space could have been? Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, spaces without human presence. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. 
My impression is that each day in this samsara only ends at the sound of that beat from the Akasha. Was that space actually the real world? But wouldn't a real space just randomly disappearing like that be catastrophic? That doesn't sound right. My impression is that each day in this samsara only ends at the sound of that beat from the Akasha. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. That doesn't sound right. Oh, so that's what it is! After the sound of the beep, the final space, the Subzero's festival, also disappears. And we're taken to the next day. Later on, Traveler also mentioned a bunch of new spaces materializing behind them. Do lots of new spaces appear every day? Paimon's head is spinning. Just what are these spaces anyhow? Well, consider this. For all the horrors of the Archon War, at its heart, it was just a game where a bunch of gods fought over seven seats. Mm, that's true. So no matter how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, maybe all they point to in the end is a small and simple, simple secret. secret. Wow, the Archon War, huh? That's an analogy and a half. A secret. Hey, where are you going? Okay. <laughs> Uh, organize your thoughts on the familiar bench in the city. I'm getting a headache from this quest. Dance of Subzeros is about to begin. I'm going to go watch it. Okay. Um, why don't you go ahead, Dunyarzad? We still have some other stuff to do first. Okay, then. I'll see you later. She sounds like a zombie. Have you figured it out yet, Traveler? Time is ticking away. I think I know the answer now. Awesome. What is it? Paima wants to know. Oh, wait, no. Let's meet up with Nahida first. You can tell us both together. This time, we're gonna get to the truth! Hey, Catherine. You're back. I've been waiting forever for you two. Judging by the looks on your faces, are you ready to take your Subzerius exam and graduate from the festival? Ask away, Miss Nahida. <laughs> okay. First off, have you discovered the hidden truth? Well, technically, no. Okay. It's time for. It's like the brainstorm. This fucking quest. Okay. Uh. Oops. Alright. People from Sumeru do not dream. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Is it because they don't sleep? 
can't seem to cohesively piece everything together. Hmm. 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 That's an association. Okay. Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. And it grants knowledge to the people. We've already experienced the Subzerus festival many times, and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common a lack of human presence. Dreams with no human presence. And those spaces remind me of. Dreams, like the one I had in the Avidia Forest, except these have no sign of human presence. The truth behind dreams. We are all in a dream. It isn't that the people of Sumeru don't dream, rather the Akasha is taking their dreams from them. Called it. I fucking called that. Think they don't dream, but the truth is the Akasha steals their dreams without them knowing it. And those spaces with no human presence are stolen dreams without their host. That would explain why they sounded so weird when he was trying to describe them. Huh. So people in Sumeru do dream after all. In fact, we're all in one big dream together right now. Correct answer. Now. How did you conclude that the Akasha is capable of this? Uh, oh, it, writes, uh, it compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. Grants. And it grants knowledge to the people. The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate. It is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. I think it's this one. That doesn't sound right. Oh, really? It's not. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, the Akasha is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. Oh, okay. Those dream controlling creatures in the forest also get their power from the Dendro Archon, right? That would explain why the Akasha has the ability to control people's dreams, too. But is stealing everyone's dreams really how the Akasha compiles their wisdom? Isn't there anything more to it than that? Dreams are fantastical, complex, and full of imagination. People's brains are the most active when they're dreaming. Yes, that's true. In other words, dreams are rich bundles of human wisdom. So, in other words... The complete opposite of how Hypatia understood it. Parma remembers her saying that the sages think dreams are foolish delusions. And the fact that no one dreams is a blessing from greater Lord Ruka Devada. Hmm. So it was all a dirty trick? The real story is that the sages from the academia are using the Akasha to steal people's dreams for their own use, huh? Yes, Sanrio, and they don't intend to stop there. Oh? By the sounds of it, you understand the current situation pretty well. So then, what about the Samsara? Um... We've already experienced the Subzerus festival many times, and... The Grand Sage is speaking. The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? That doesn't sound right. My mm. mind feels exhausted. The appearance of the per uh, the per Those space. spaces kept disappearing before my eyes. But as soon as that beep sounded, many more spaces materialized. Those dreamscapes kept vanishing. But as soon as that beep sounded, more new spaces appeared. Hmm. 
And the beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night, even though we removed our Akasha terminals. Mass production of dreams. Correct. The Akasha is keeping each person's brain in a constant dream state, but also separating their consciousness from their own dream. Their disembodied consciousness is placed inside the collective dream of the Subzerus Festival along with everyone else's, while their now vacant dreams are harvested by the Akasha. No one is any the wiser as another day passes in the dream, and so begins another Samsara cycle. People wake up to yet another dream about the Subzerus Festival. The dreams that belong to them are once again harvested by the Akasha. So it continues. So it continues. Yeah. Okay, it makes sense now. So, this is like a dream factory, and the Akasha is a dream harvesting machine. Did Paimon get that analogy right? <laughs> Very good, Paimon. Using analogies well is an excellent habit to get into. Okay, so that beep we keep hearing is actually from our real-life Akasha terminals. Taking off our terminals in this dream doesn't do anything. Yep. All right, last question. Who am I? Wait, really? They say that alchemical divination is the Dendro Archon's divine revelation. So then, if Nahida has referred to herself as the moon... Now that I think about it, wasn't illusions a hint that we're all dreaming? Now that I think about it, wasn't illusions hinting at the sage's deception of Sumeru's people? <laughs> so you noticed. You are lesser lord Kusanali. That's why I put it last. That wasn't hard at all. Even Paimon guessed that. Everything about you is different. We just didn't want to expose you is all. Now that you mention it, Nahida, you've been hinting to us since the very beginning. It's funny. Thinking back to when we were asking all over the place for info about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Paimon didn't expect to meet you like this. Uh, I have a lot of questions for you, but this doesn't seem like a good time. Yes, those can wait until we're back in real life. On the other hand, I'd be happy to answer any more questions you have about here and now. Okay, um, why couldn't you simply tell us the truth? You asked me this question before. My answer was, it would literally blow your <laughs> minds. Now that you know this is all a dream, this answer should hopefully make more sense. Have you heard the saying, don't wake a sleepwalker? Likewise, if someone suddenly had told you all this instead of you learning it on your own, your notion of reality and dream would be thrown into irreversible confusion. That's true. It couldn't expose you to that kind of risk. That's why I could only give you very subtle hints and some suggestions. Long story short, I'm really sorry I had to keep you guessing. Alright, um, how do the sages manage to keep people from noticing this? Firstly, this dream we're in is completely based on reality. People have already experienced this Subzerus festival, so it would be very difficult for them to find anything that strikes them as surreal. Secondly, you're probably wondering why people don't have any memories from earlier Samsara, right? That's because people don't remember their dreams most of the time anyway. And in any case, their actual dreams are being taken away from them by the Akasha. So whenever they wake up in this dream of the Subzerus Festival, <coughs> they don't remember anything from their previous identical dream. That reminds Paimon. Traveler had a dream when we were in the Avidia Forest, but couldn't see what it was about after waking up. Mm. Is that an example of what you mean? Yeah. Yes. Only after receiving the blessing of Dendro can a person gain the Dendro element's dream-enhancing power. That explains the feelings of deja vu. Meanwhile, everyone else has no idea that they are in the Subzerus Festival Samsara, while their dreams are stolen from them over and over again. Okay, um, about the side effects of a mass-produced dream. Can humans really keep dreaming 
forever like this? Will it ever end? And if so, when? You might say your mental fatigue has already answered this question. Eventually, there's only so much that people can tolerate. True. Especially those whose health is compromised to begin with. Like Dunyarzad. This relentless exploitation takes an even harder toll on them. People's lives are at stake here, and nobody knows a thing! We've got to put a stop to this! Why is the dream about the Sub-Service Festival? I know, right? Why did they have to base this dream on my birthday? Could it really just be a coincidence? It's a jab. It's a jab at Tahita. Even you don't know the reason? Wow. Now that's strange. The Academia Sages are determined to harvest lots of dreams in a short time, no matter the cost. They have to be up to no good. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about it. Traveler, do you have any information? The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Celebrate the birth of that God? Could it mean... Deceiving the people of Samaru with no regard for their safety. No matter what they're trying to do, this is unforgivable. After we end the Subzerus Festival Samsara, we have to look into them. How can the sages of the Academia do this behind their Archon's back? This is ridiculous! In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun, real sun long is long gone. A sun and a moon? <sighs> He's talking about Ruka Devata. Maybe they were sisters or something. Oh, we're out of time today. I'll tell you how to break free of the samsara tomorrow. See you then. God, we're still not done. Hey, what's wrong, Nahida? You don't look too good. All right. Uh, where is the news on? Yeah, where is she? I'm afraid that what you're thinking right now is correct. What? Did Dunyarzad already disappear? No way. Are are we too late? The real Dunyarzad's consciousness has indeed disappeared. It can no longer endure the constant dream harvesting. You're kidding me, right? Yeah, that's true. Ayaw, ayaw talagang tanggapin ng sages si na na si na hindi na yung bagong Arcon. Attach parin attach parin talaga sila kay Ruka Devata. It's the word kaya ang, ang pinakabet ko na nagsabi is si World Forget Me is si Ruka Devata. Gusto niyang magipagsever ties na yung sages sa kanya para magmubot na yung Sumeru. She's actually something like a puppet, but not completely. The real Dunyarzad's consciousness could no longer keep playing her role in this dream. Bro. So another Dunyarzad appeared to replace her in the dream. Just like the grass and the trees, that Dunyarzad is just a building block of the dream that helps to keep it going. But 
personality-wise, she's nothing like the real Dunyarzad. Yeah, they can't copy that. Puppets are stiff. Yeah. And can't copy a living person's vitality. After all, they're just their spiller. And you know, speaking of which, the old Dunyarzad might not have been too different from a puppet. Dunyarzad truly believed that she met you within her consciousness. And it was you who inspired her. So you do remember her after all. Yes. True. Maganda rin yung design ni Naida. It's very simplistic. Hindi siya sobrang overcomplicated. It's as if she only lived to stall her Elazar. I just gave her a little wisdom so she could look at life in a new way. So that she could be her own person. But even so, she's still... Go celebrate the birth. Yeah. Kaya nga eh, di ba? Yun ang term nila kay Nahide. God lang. Hindi nila ina-acknowledge as lesser lord to Sonali or something. Or Dendro man lang. At least Dendro Arton man lang sa aking tawag sa kanya. But no. Ang term ng sages is God. Far from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. I couldn't even save her. If I were a competent Archon, I wouldn't have let my most faithful follower die at the Subzeris Festival with so many regrets. Brian, you lied to me. You said five hours. It's almost seven. <laughs> Please don't beat yourself up over it, Nahida. It's the Sage's fault, and theirs alone! I... I'm not beating myself up. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and a real Archon. Don't be like that, Nikita. Even real Archons are still allowed to be sad. Yeah. Look at look at the Shogun. <laughs> to prevent more tragedies like this, we must end the Samsara as soon as possible. Great, but how do we do that? Uh, confront the sages. Although the Subzerus Festival dream is under the Akasha's control, only humans can dream. Even the Akasha is unable to create them. That means no, this dream belongs to a host good. who created it. This belongs to a host who created it. Huh? So, how should we find that person? Is it Nilo? Well, if this is someone's dream, then everything here must come from deep within their consciousness. Which means, with the power of imagination, they can change anything in this dream. With the power of friendship. Imagination? What do you mean by that? Imagination means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Like when a server at a tavern brings a plate to you, you'd naturally assume that food is on it. However, if you're the dream's host, and you become oh, aware person. that you're dreaming, Jesus when you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in kind, and the server really will bring you gold and mora. But right now, our host is unaware that this is a dream. No matter how many times they're served, it will always be food. So we find the host, then what? Find some way to make that person realize that they're dreaming. Usually, once that happens, the person will wake up and the dream samsara will be broken. Slap the shit out of the host. <laughs> Even if we did find them, how are we supposed to make them realize they're dreaming? Slap the shit out of them. After all, like you said, don't wake a sleepwalker. It's extremely difficult, yes. But the only ones who can do it are you two. Remember, everything you've achieved up to this point has all been for the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. As for me, uh, during this time... I'll be out of town. What? We're going. Liyue? <laughs> out of town? Are you going to that place full of dreams where the traveler went? Yes. I, I want to try something. There must still be a small wisp of possibility. Hurry and go. Dreams are supposed to be fantastical, romantic, and full of pleasant surprises. Oh, I did it. This samsara need to end. I'll just walk up to everyone and just slap them. Are you dreaming? 
This only Unfortunately, wala akong Zhongli. <laughs> but that would work. Doon ako sa taas ng ano yun. Doon ako sa taas ng ng academia. Tapos marilindig mo lang si Zhongli. I will have order! Just then see a fucking meteor just crashing down. Knowing the plan, they'd probably become aware that they were dreaming. And I'm suspecting hosts would be less likely to realize this is a dream. Nightmare. Plus, the sages probably weren't counting on there being other factors beyond their control, like Nahida and us. So, who do you think the host of the dream is? The one with the strange getup. Oh, that would make sense. Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is a symbol of the whole Subzeru's festival, right? Pretty core character. Let's go ask him some questions, shall we? Skip go. This, no, I mean, acto na rin naman tao si to, but still, this is probably gonna be like the longest arc one quest that we have. Kasi meron pa eh, di ba? May 3.1, then may 3.2 pa. And each version will have an arc one quest. You're back. You left in a hurry last time. I is everything okay? Everything's fine. Just, um, it's a little hard to explain. Uh, would you mind taking part in a little experiment with us? An experiment? That came out of nowhere. I'm listening, though. What do you need me to do? <laughs> Could you make a wish? You want me to make a wish? Is that a new sub Zeru's festival tradition or something? Less questions, more wishing! Uh, imagine by standard, ka lang, di ba? Like, like regular NPC, ka lang. Tapos may kita ng position of clean as a task ng academia, no? <laughs> okay. Okay. My wish. My wish. Um, okay. I'm a little Aww. nervous saying this out loud, but I want Miss Dunyarzad to be happy. Maybe it's that guy. Mo antok yun eh, oh. <laughs> I, that's it's it's it it's it. This one. Mo antok na yung tao na yun ito mo. Ibig sabihin niyo para ayaw na niya. <laughs> I noticed earlier that she looked a bit down and she wasn't really talking to anyone. She just doesn't seem like herself. She's always so gentle and kind, and all the kids love her. I've also wondered if the reason she asked me to be Ferris Knight of Flowers is because I'm special to her or something. That mustache is special. Jesus Christ. So, you have a crush on Dunyarzad? Uh, <laughs> oh, is it that obvious? After what I just said, I guess it is. Uh, I'm so sorry. When she placed the hat of the Knight of Flowers onto my head, she <laughs> said to me, I want everyone to have a happy sub Zeru's festival. What she didn't realize was that I'm not that interested in how everyone else feels. In that moment, I just wanted to be her Knight of Flowers for the rest of my life. Fifty years, a hundred years, I'll serve her till the end of time. Okay, yeah, that was a bit much. Felt like the right moment to get it off my chest, but <clears throat> that was pretty embarrassing. That was beautiful, my guy. Okay, I'm ready to make my wish. 
I would like Miss Dunyarzad to appear in front of me right now with a smile on her face. Here goes. Please come true. I'm gonna open my eyes. Oh. Uh, oh. You're. What? Fucky? <coughs> Sorry, but only one portion of Yalda candies per person. Back home you go. <laughs> oh, I had my hopes up. <laughs> nice try, you two. Anyway, never mind. I don't need to see her appear right in front of me. As long as she's happy. <laughs> uh, guess he isn't the host of this dream after all. Should have expected it wouldn't be this easy. Maybe it's this guy? Dad loves her, but none of them has any idea that she. My lady, step back. Oh, it's Dia. That sounds like Dia. Oh, right. This is when Dunyarzad bumps into the kidnappers. <laughs> I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. Yeah. Huh? But Dia can handle them. Hey, traveler! A oh, body, this mercenaries. It's you. Great timing. Please take... Oh, take doing your zard and leave. Hey, this is my job. The homie Yanni's pay me, not you. You're wasting your breath. You... Ugh, fine, alright. Knock yourself out. Why are you so worked up anyway? It's not like I'm going to do a story quest. I'm going to dream now. I'm going to quest. I'm going to do a story quest. You got yourself some backup. Suit yourself. Say they all know. Muso no hito tachi. I think muso no hito tachi ko. Dead. Time for takeoff. Busta, I'm gonna go Nowhere to hide. I feel better now. Malut, malungkot din yung kaya nari. Were you just taking your anger out on those guys? Yes, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm fine. <sighs> you and Nahida both. Ten years old wouldn't want to see you two like this. Oh, and speaking of her. Paimon just remembered something. Remember how during the first Sub-Zero's festival, before the Samsara started, we came here with Dunyarzad because she wanted to pick something up? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. She said it was because she had forgotten something. Okay, so Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she is staying somewhere around here. She pointed it out to us the night before the Sub-Zero's festival. Yeah, maybe it'll give us some clues. Yeah. Even if it's only a tiny clue, it'll probably still help us more than this needle in a haystack search. This is the place. It's rude to enter other people's spaces without permission, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Hey, the windows are unlocked. Okay. Uh, Paimon's gonna take a peek inside. This was only a temporary residence, so there was pretty much nothing inside except this book on the table. Should we open it? Holy shit. Alright. <clears throat> Let's read this. Alright. An elegantly written note. After almost 16 days, I was finally able to get these notes written before the sub zero Festival. Once the festival ends, you and Paimon will probably continue your journey immediately. 
so I was hoping that I'd be able to give this to you before that. This is a compilation of folk legends concerning Lesser Lord Kusanali created from a series of interviews that I conducted in succession and wrote down. I interviewed so many people but I'm afraid that there are very few who know much about her. Still, I hope this will be of use to you in your search for her. Okay. When Darvaville's water supply was once contaminated, forcing everyone to go very far out to get water. But one day, people suddenly found out that the water was drinkable again, and some said that a green light was seen near the water source the previous night. Everyone believes that this was the divine power of Lesser Lord Kusanali at work. This sounds quite possible. The, the decontamination of water sources via natural means probably takes ages. Did Lesser Lord Kusanali appear in Gondarva build then? After Mama passed away, I was super afraid of the dark and couldn't sleep. But from one day on, I would hear a voice that would chat with me till I fell asleep. A nice lady told me that Lesser Lord Kusanali must have been watching over me. Poor child. I hope that, that the sub festival makes him a little happier. This is quite similar to something I experienced back then as well. She is indeed a gentle god. There was this one time when I had a wee bit too much to drink and couldn't find my, my way home to save my life. Then, when I turned the corner, I could have sworn I saw Lesser Lord Kusanali. She was, she was very tall and had the most mus muscular arms. And she caught me when I slipped and fell. The next morning, I found myself sleeping under a tree. I reckon that must have been. I reckon that must have been her looking out for me. Hmm, I'm not sure this one was not that much value as a reference. That was probably just the tree, right? These folks, re these folk records appended with Lunar Zod's reference and opinions leave every page densely packed. Wow. Interesting. Junior Zod wrote all of this. Sounds like she was always thinking of us, even while we were away. Even though she was also busy preparing for the sub festival and had all her health problems to worry about. She must have wanted to give this to us as a gift on the day of the sub festival, right? If we hadn't found this book, we never would have known. But now that we know, we can't even thank her. Hey! Where are you off to now? Oh. I want the quest to end, but at the same time, it's interesting enough for me to keep going. And it's also because I'm hungry. It's Dunyarzad's puppet! Are you gonna speak? Oh shit, my mom. Come to think of it, we've been stuck in this place for a really, really long time. Yeah, we'll get pa on a video after Even that. the last time we were chatting happily with Dunyar's odd feels like an eternity ago. video for TOF. Yeah, gumawa ako ng parang summary and guide video for wormholes. I-edit ko pa mamaya. Nag-record ako kanina bago mag-strip. Nilu was sitting near, and the way her eyes sparkled when she talked about Nilu's dance of Subzeru's. But I call it editing, but most of the time ang ginagawa ko lang naman is nag-cut lang ako naman ng mga unnecessary parts. There will always be frustrations in life, 
Oh. But I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. Wait, she said that. That was what the real Dinyarzad said, wasn't it? Does that mean... Wait. Yes, Traveler. What is it? Oh. So she's still just a puppet. But just now, how come... Not leave behind any regrets. Let's go by Mark. What? Where are we going this time? To watch the dance of sub -Zeros. Yes. We need to make that festival happen. I don't care if I have to punch that great sage. We're going to make that festival happen. For Dunyarzad's sake and for Nilo's sake. Stop right there! Police! Hands in the air! If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? If my clear lang naman yung video ko, it's like a, it's like six minute, eight minute video. So hindi naman ganon katagal yung pag-edit. Or pwede ko ako buwas ko na lang siya i-edit. Then buwas ko na lang pwede siya i-upload. Uh, you don't have to get involved. He's a sage from the academia. I don't want to drag you into this. Oh, but... <laughs> oh, my dear. But I do. I do want to get involved. Traveler. Traveler? What the heck are you doing? Paimon, shut up. If you get arrested by the academia, that's another day gone to waste. I'm a waste them. I... <laughs> They've been scared stiff? Oh, they're puppets. Oh, of course. If this is the sage's plan, they wouldn't put themselves through this. Yeah, good point. So they're just substitutes. What is this? What happened to the Grand Sage and his entourage? Some of those flowers. What do you mean? Like I said, they symbolize the goddess of flowers. It's just a shame that all the real Bodhisattvas went extinct after her death. Yes, the Greater Lord brought forth new Bodhisattvas in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful shade of purple. Shade of purple. Aren't these flowers real Padisaras? Just oh. like the ones from the legend? I didn't even notice. Tanyarzad, did you find these? But didn't you just say all the real flowers went extinct after the goddess of flowers passed away? Yeah. What's going on here? Uh, huh? I knew it. I knew it. Show your host, right? Okay, I'll try. Hmm. Hey. Called it. I fucking called it. So Nilu's the host. What a surprise! I called it. Purple body Saras don't exist in the real world anymore. But in Nilu's subconscious, they can appear as decorations on the stage. Yep. It's just like the example Nahida told us. People assume there will be food on a plate, and Nilu assumed there would be real Padisaras in the flower pots. So when you saw the flowers, you instantly knew it was Nilu? But if we want to end the samsara, we need the host to become aware that they're dreaming. How should we make Nilu realize that? Nilu, wake up! <laughs> Am I dreaming? Huh? How did you come to that conclusion? <laughs> so I'm right. 
Is this Lesser Lord Kusanali responding to our celebration of the Sabzeru's festival? Wrong guess, but you aren't completely wrong either. Uh, the point is, what made you think this is a dream? As far as you know, people in Sumeru don't dream, right? That girl is waterbending. <laughs> that that woman is water bending right now. You can't tell me she's what she's not water bending right now. <laughs> Penetrator to wake up. <laughs> no, 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 you can't say that on my stream. You cannot say that on my stream. <laughs> yeah, but have you heard the tale of the first sage? To prevent a calamity, he went on a journey to find the Dendro Archon. Ooh, sounds familiar. Dunyarzad told us a story like that when we first arrived in Sumeru City. Oh, so, it was about the first sage, huh? Yep, but in the part you heard, he hadn't become the first sage yet. There's more to the story. His piety and wisdom were acknowledged by the Dendro Archon, and she finally gave her blessing to him. All kinds of spectacular scenes appeared in front of the first sage. As if all the knowledge in the world was being painted onto a canvas right before him. He was captivated. FBI opened up. After who knows how long, he mastered all the knowledge he could comprehend. Afterward, he said to the Dendro Archon, I miss my parents, my wife, and my children. I've been away from home for far too long. They must be worried. The Dendro Archon smiled. The next second, the sage found himself lying in his bed, as if he had just woken up from a dream. His wife, lying next to him, said, You're off to search for the Dendro Archon today, aren't you? Have a safe journey, my love. In the end, the first sage took care of many disasters in Sumeru City, and founded the Academia. <sighs> what a happy ending. So, the first sage was dreaming ever since the beginning of the story? He never went on his journey? Yes. But his faith and determination were conveyed to the Dendro Archon. So she blessed him in the form of a dream. Paimon understands where you're coming from now. That's a really interesting connection. But we really gotta wake up soon. Like the sage in the story! I don't think was aware of it. The stream should be over soon. I see. Well, it just so happens that today's Sub Zero's festival is almost over, too. She gonna dance. Please dance. I wanna see you dance. Since we're in a dream, <gasps> let's make this final dance of Sub oh, Zero's shit. as beautiful oh. as we can. Okay, yes. Please dance your heart out. <laughs> the wait is over, everyone. I dedicate this to our god, the dance of Sub Zerus. This is so beautiful. Disappointing on a belly button. No, you don't need that. For Nilo's case, you don't need that. <sighs> My god. I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilo's dance. Dunyar Zad would have loved this. This was the in the trailer. Oh my god.
my heart, my soul. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beyond beautiful. <laughs> Welcome home, cheater. <laughs> Imagine after Sumero update, magkakaroon ng part 2 si Ayaka. Uh, part 2 Ayaka story trailer. <laughs> Alright. Ayaka's dance was good. The problem with her dance was she had fucking socks on while dancing in the river. All right. Everyone thinks it was after the Subzero's festival. The Subzero's festival. Can we finally escape from the Subzero Samsara? Oh my god! Yes. Take off your Akasha terminal. Like <laughs> young Ben is happy. Wait, is she here? Don't. I, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I'm not gonna get my hopes up so that I won't be disappointed. <laughs> She's here! And Paimon. And thank you, Dunyarzad, for organizing the Subsaris Festival for me. I'm sorry, who are. Yeah, very character. Like you know, from Mirai Nikki, bro. That's like next level, Yandere. You know, from Mirai Nikki, it's like peak Yandere. Peak Yandere, si you know. I think uh, Dabsalep could be like magandang character si Dabsalep for like a Yandere character. Oh, a traveler, Paimon. I have something amazing uh, to tell ladies you. Ladies and gentlemen. She is alive. I just had a dream. And I saw Nilu performing the dance of Subzerus. That wasn't a dream. Well, technically it is, but... The morn a thousand roses bring. Oh, wait, what's this? Is this... Oh, okay, this is still part of the other quest. Okay, talk to Catherine. You're actually Nishida, aren't you? Like Catherine was acting weird when we met at the Subzerus Festival. Wait, what? And Dunyarzad, did you save her? It's a really long story. We shouldn't disturb her. Her consciousness is still weakened. What? She sounds so weird. Let's chat somewhere else. It sounds mm. it, I'm uncomfortable. By the traveler's <sighs> favorite bench. I'm uncomfortable with that. Oh. Oh. X. Sana na control yung ano. On the last day of the Subzerus Festival, it's, it looks so fucking weird. <laughs> Among the countless dreams, I found one that was growing fainter and fainter. This proved my suspicion. 
Once Dunyarzad could no longer bear the Akasha harvesting her dreams, her consciousness began to dissipate. But this also meant it escaped the Akasha's control. Such a small fragment of consciousness can't last for very long, though. It will return to its original dream, where both will gradually fade until they completely disappear. I used all the power I had to keep her dying dream alive as long as possible. But it still wouldn't have lasted for much longer if it hadn't been for you two breaking the samsara. So it looks like we did manage to save Dunyarzad in the end. Not a moment okay. too soon. Kala ko magkakaroon na naman tayo ng tepe moment eh. Huh? Why are you two smiling so happily? I thought you'd be so moved <laughs> that you'd start crying. Hmm. I need to spend more time observing human emotions. Both are fine. Everyone reacts differently. Yep. All right. You two must have a lot of other questions for me, right? Okay. After Here all, we go. You saved my faithful believer. As your reward, I will answer any and all questions. Let's get this lore going. Okay. About what I saw in that dream at the Avidia Forest. At the Avidia Forest, there was this incense that made the traveler fall unconscious. And dream of a huge tree in a red sky. <laughs> I will never forget Tepe. All right, this that scene was unbearable for me. You also heard someone. Mihoyo did them did him dirty. World and forget me. Yes, world and forget. Me. Yeah, so you do know. We've been wanting to ask you what that was about, and if the red sky was related to Conria. Let me guess, you don't know. It seems like the traveler established yep. a connection to Ermansoul. I knew it. That was a message left by Greater Lord Rukadevata's residual consciousness in Ermansoul. Perhaps her last memory before she died. As you two probably know, Greater Lord Rukadevata disappeared after the disaster in Conria. The timings of these events do line up, so your suspicions are reasonable. A message from Greater Lord Rukadevata? We thought it was from the Scarlet King. I don't think so. Wait, was it mentioned? Now, ano yung gender ng Scarlet King? Well, since it's Scarlet King, I'm assuming it's a male. But then again, they're using the term Greater Lord, pero female, right? The Scarlet King? That god who died even longer ago? Oh, it's a worship him. Present day okay. desert dwellers still worship him. You probably just heard some of their conspiracies. Okay, so what does the message mean? <sighs> I still haven't managed to decipher it. Even the Akasha isn't currently capable of doing that. Greater Lord Ruka Devata's residual consciousness in Ermin Soul seems to be contaminated with something that has a very dangerous. It looks origin. so weird. Many devoted scholars go mad as soon as they connect their consciousness. I've warned the academia about this many times, but people still keep falling victim to it. But I believe this is the key to saving Ermansoul. That's why I've kept trying to decipher it. So the tree in the vision was Ermansoul? Oh, Tainari also said that Ermansoul is sick! Is it because of the contaminated consciousness? But... Even if you can't figure out what that vision was all about, it seems like our search for you was all in vain. The Traveler wasn't affected after coming in contact with that consciousness. I've never seen anyone like that. With you here, we may have a chance at deciphering it. No, we must decipher its secrets. I've already eliminated all other factors that might affect Ermansoul. This is the only one left. This puzzle has life and death at stake. It could determine Ermansoul's fate, as well as to Vats. Okay, so why do you look like Catherine? To be accurate, I'm using the Akasha as a medium to occupy Catherine's consciousness. Are you sure that's safe? Uh, how did you do that? Poor Catherine. Uh, does this mean you can also occupy other people's consciousnesses? Theoretically, I can enter anyone's mind as long as they're wearing their Akasha Terminal. The Akasha is the legacy of Greater Lord Rukadevata. 
As Lesser Lord Kusanali and the first Akasha Terminal, my consciousness has always been linked to the Akasha. Uh, we have a mission. We need to help Kusanali para tanggapin siya. Yeah, you know what would be great? It dissolve natin yung sages, like yung Uh, ano ba tawag? May, may tawag sila dun, di ba? Yung mga parang Council of Sages. When necessary, I just borrow this Bionic Snishnayan puppet. What? Come again? I just borrow this Bionic Snishnayan puppet. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Did we just learn some deep dark secret? So Catherine is No. No wonder Paimon felt something was off about her. What about your own body? Why do you need to borrow other people's? Don't you live in the sanctuary of Suristana? I wasn't expecting a from Snejnaya. Like you like from Snejnaya your origins, yeah. Bro, what? Wait, that's that's like a deep revelation. Kung from Snejnaya ang gawa si Catherine, doesn't that mean na control ng Snejnaya ang buong adventurer skill? That story begins a long time ago. After Greater Lord Rukadabata disappeared, the sages found my newly born self and took me back to Samaru. At that time, I was young and weak. The sages kept me in the sanctuary of Suristana, ostensibly for the sake of protecting me. But I've hardly heard from them since. So, nandito siya sa taas. However, I do understand that they had hoped to find Greater Lord Rukadavata instead of me, the symbol of her passing. So, the sages basically put their new archon under house arrest? How dare they! Why don't you teach them a lesson, Nahida? In some ways, they aren't wrong. Greater Lord Rukadavata was omniscient and omnipotent. Even after her death, the Akasha is still empowering this nation. Maybe she's not dead? Technically, after all? And I... I'm still really far away from being able to call myself the God of Wisdom. Okay, are, are we just going to brush the fact the academia is also more proficient that the Catherines are bionic from Snezhnaya? Yeah, you got a lot of believers. Just look at the Subzeros Festival. Everyone who showed up truly loves you. Speculations is about to recreate the pattern to one of the activities of inventions. Hmm. Yeah. That's a good theory, actually. <laughs> Thank you for mm. the That's a good theory. Para, ma para nalalaman din nila kung ano yung nangyayari all around. That, that, would, that would be a good explanation as to why napakalaki ng like, network of information ng patuwi. Kinulong yung body niya, nakakalabas lang sa kanya. Yeah. So, technically, yung consciousness lang yung napapalabas. Yung consciousness lang yung nandito. Yung body talaga ni Nahida is nandun sa parang sanctuary. Okay, that makes sense. Trying to find a way to save Ermin's soul is my life's mission and top priority. I will work on that and try to live up to being a deity in the meantime. Every once in a while, I will also take up the duties of the God of Wisdom and enlighten a lost soul here and there. Doing all that should be enough. Alright, about the Sages Plan. There's never been any big problems with the Academia's governance of Sumeru. This is the first time I've seen them step out of line. I wonder what caused them to go down this path and what they hope to achieve. Uh, greed? Knowledge? Wisdom? Even though the city's residents haven't noticed anything strange, if the Traveler hadn't broken the Subzeru Samsara, the situation could have become dire. 
I tried to do some investigating in the Akasha, but I couldn't find anything suspicious. And all the people of interest seem to purposely avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. I think they're deliberately trying to hide something. They are trying to hide something. Oh, that reminds Paimon. In Gandharvaville, there was a sage who had invited Kainari to join some kind of project. Could it be related? Regardless, I need to first investigate the sage's motives, make things right, and punish them if needed. But I'll have to be discreet, or they'll see me coming. Okay, so no one has realized the issue with the Akasha. You mean how the Akasha stops you from having dreams? Yeah, it's been such a long time. No, no I don't think so. Because high in regard to the sages in the Sumeru. Eh. So, malaki yung ano. Patas ang tingin ng mga ordinary citizens sa, sa mga sages. So, I think kapag may sinabi yung sages, you know, para maniniwala na ng mga tao. It's not that no one noticed. It's no one like cared. No one cared. Ultimately, yeah, yeah, it's all sages needed in the direction. sages' misdirection. Misdirection? The sages convinced everyone to believe that being unable to dream mm -hmm. is a sign of rationality and wisdom. Not dreaming is a badge of honor in Sumeru. Even if the truth is that their dreams are being reaped by the Akasha. With their propaganda in place, the sages can maximize their use of the Akasha to facilitate their research. Ma. Any ma? Papa me, papa ba. Besides, Greater Lord Ruka Devata must have created the Akasha in the hopes that it could be used to its full potential. That's why I've never come out strongly against this. <sighs> anyway, the perspective advocated by the sages drowned out any voices of doubt. By now, even those who never use Akasha terminals find it too shameful and embarrassing to talk about their dreams. Alright, I don't have any other questions. Got it! I hope my answers were satisfactory, seekers of knowledge. <sighs> to be honest, maintaining Dunyarzad's fading dream took a lot of mental energy. I think I may need to rest for a while. Oh, and you don't need to worry too much about the Sage's activities for now. The Akasha won't be able to conduct another project on the scale of the Subzeru Samsara in the immediate future. Go and get some sleep. Leave everything to us. <laughs> what a relief. <sighs> this is truly the most exhausting birthday I've ever had. Hmm? <laughs> Traveler? Paimon? Why am I here? Do either of you know? I... Uh, maybe you were sleepwalking. You know you can't wake up a sleepwalker. We, uh... We happen to walk by but the that space. We wait for you to wake up. I see. Huh. I should visit my maintenance personnel sometime. Catherine, you just. Oh, I'm fine. I better go. Maintenance person. We are finally done. Wait. More? Oh, it's a world quest. Fuck. Alright. Oh my god! Oh, that took a lot out of me. Is he dancing? I don't the animation. Alright, from the words of Nahida herself, this took a lot of my mental energy. But, Mihoyo, or Uyuverse rather, has outdone themselves. I would have never thought that uh, no one would beat Li Yue's Archon Quest because that quest was phenomenal for in my, for, in, uh, my personal opinion. But so far, this has been a great competitor. I didn't expect the like, twists and turns that were going to happen. Initially, I thought it was like time travel bullshit, but you know, it was just a dream, stuff like that. But it was pretty interesting. Even though I was like... I'm, seven and a half hours into the stream 
it was all very informative and and we got a lot of information regarding Roba de Bata and everything of that but let's talk about that for the next three because I'm very tired I still haven't had dinner I still have to edit I still have to go play Tower Fantasy for a while so we'll talk about this our conquest the next Please time uh, for the business, next stream tomorrow the and yeah there. that is it for today's stream ladies and gentlemen so thank you to everyone who, for the support and to everyone who stayed during the seven hour stream for this art one plus i'll see you all guys in the next one ggs